nice in this chair. Hey, it's come bit, on. It's a bit not sturdy, but anyway, welcome to Man, it. Man, I go steady now yourself. So, yeah, no, you know, no. I expected a chair like this from a guy. Oh, not you what? Once slept him like I said, at Major League Gardens. What happened when I, you slept him like I said? No, you heard he was like, he was like, yeah, what I wanna say. You know, and oh, I once slept, I was like, oi, oi. Now remember, I used to be coloured, so I also know what I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's used to sell drugs. I didn't know this, bro. Huh? You used, used to, to sell, sell drugs. drugs. Who the fuck said I used to sell drugs? Mac. And let's fuck is Mac, man. Mac's boost, man. I didn't sell drugs, dog. So exactly. a chicken lays an egg a day. Wow. And if it if it skips a day of laying an egg, it becomes hard food. <laughs> you know, the And go stay away from personal trainers who like me to women. Well, look, I look pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> we start with a laugh. Zach Fou Santoana. Who's that mean? Vuanga Filet. Hey, she's nice in this chair. Hey, come on. It's a bit not sturdy, but anyway, welcome to Me it. I can't go steady now yourself. So, yeah, no, you know, I expected a chair like this from MacGyver. When I sat in it, I was like, oh, okay, exactly. this chair. Exactly. <laughs> What's up, Sol? What's going on, bro? I'm you all right. Thanks back for from the dead. Me. I wasn't dead. I was just at my house. Now, what are you? Because I'm from the only color in this pond in South Africa. I'm but so like, what's with this? About yeah, America. like guys, this pond means basically niyamunge. That's it. Long and short, short of it. You, you could just carry there. a toothpick then for that. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You got another toothpick. You know? And if anybody asked, I tell them. No, uh, no I was okay, I was okay. home in June. Yeah, June 16th, around there. Yeah. So there was a celebration at home, home Freyheit. Yeah, so we're Freyheit. Yeah, yeah, we're Freyheit. Yeah, we're Freyheit in Atali. Yeah, that's My cousin where got married. There was a lot of celebrations going on there. So, yeah, I got the spandla. Now I understand mm. when you say Ubuse Kaya. Bingse Kaya. Yes, That's knows. when you then yes. have his spandla. Thank you. So, when was for you home? You were eating this. Bingse Kaya is all from 6 in the morning to 9 with Sizu Kaya. Is it? We, uh, oh, okay. I thought, I thought you were the, I was talking about your ancestral home. Not, oh, ancestral home. Yeah. That's in the Eastern Cape. Oh, I, I thought it's, in, I thought it's yeah. in Hillbrow. You oh. know we always have that. <laughs> you, oh, you think ancestral homes are look she What do you... Uh, look, she, look, she's not an ancestral home. No, they said home. a Hillbrow and they had ancestral home. Yeah. No, Hillbrow's never a home. Oh, like, okay. Home, home. It was like a base, camp base. I've always you known know? you to just come from there. That's no, why from Fosso, bro. Fuck oh, you. come on. Oh, I filmed that. Everybody no, knows. No, we, we want to find out more. Ganja and Coast Lane. <laughs> what do you guys slaughter there, Neil, bro? Eh? <laughs> what do you guys slaughter there? What do we slaughter? Would they ever slaughter? Like people. Dudu said human beings. What do you do? Dudu. Guys, can I just try show some of my cat to you? Is that where the comments come from? I think team. So, I know who. Dudu Aya. Yeah, that's, that's your, your, your new name. Among <laughs> three guys, well, I was trying to figure out obviously who everyone is because I was like, oh, there's two microphones. Okay. As well as all these That's voices. Pure, bro. He's just a sound guy. Yes. That's um, Fact Checker, Busisiwe Fact Herendi. Fact Checker. We're going to need you later on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. with you around, we'll need lots of... Uh, <laughs> today, Uredu Chimile, that's now... Should charge your laptop. It's Away. part of Black Studios. Black Studios are the guy who do the shows. Right. You're lucky. One of the few who met Ghost Lady. Yeah. Ghost Lady. Yeah, I didn't get her name. You didn't get her name? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I did actually, and I hope I don't say it. Am I allowed to say What is your name? Enlighten us. Enlighten you. So it's Ghost Lady. Let's kill it. Her name is Ghost Lady. Enlighten us. How's Kanye? I'm Kanye. Can you see Jela? Yeah. Slab and Jela just fully in Jela. How's Kanye? Kanye said. How's Kanye said? Yes. Yeah. Ghost Lady. Ghost Lady. Right. Yes. 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 Uh, uh, the uh, landlord. Um, the one and only. The landlord's niece. Landlord's niece. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so, so my pizza. So she, yeah, making sure we don't, like, fuck up the place. No, right? she said to, to make sure that you say we're coming from David Machabella Studios. Oh, okay. We are coming from David Machabella Studios. We are. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. She's happy. She's smiling now. That's Tato. Black Studios. That's uh, Tutu. 
Um, our producer. Our producer. Right. Also trying to be the fourth member of the podcast. You know. mm. She deserves yeah. it. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And, and then that's it, bro. That's for, the okay. Let's go. for the chillers, I'm sure they already knew that, but that was for you because I knew the shit. I met them behind the scenes. But you said I don't know why you ran them. me through. I said I didn't know what's going on because there were so many people and I just thought it's you, Mac, and Ghost Lady and the shit just happens. Oh, so you're not a chiller. Mm. You don't watch the podcast. I do watch the podcast, oh, okay. but I see more of the clips of the podcast. The podcast is everywhere, dog. You can't not watch the podcast that exist in South Africa. Don't be modest. What have you been up to, bro? I've been there doing my stuff. Man. I mean, Warris, the last time I heard of you was YFM. You did TV live, right? Yes, I did YFM. I did live amp. I left Y. I went to 5. I did 5FM. Then I did live amp till 2018. Left 5FM 2016. Then I wasn't like... I was kind of like not feeling radio. I didn't want to be on radio. I had other shit that I was doing. Remember, we used to do security. Yeah, yes. now here's the thing. I think maybe security related. When I was in Hillbro, I used to see you, right? Yes. But I wouldn't walk up to you and say, hey, I was like, see you from a distance. Right? Yeah. And you're walking always with buff guys and stuff. Okay. Who, who, who are you selling drugs to in Hillbro? I wasn't selling <laughs> drugs and I wasn't partying in Hillbro. Uh, we used to actually come and fetch the guys in Hillbro. Most of them live in Hillbro. That's, what my, the guys? that's my ops. What are the guys? The bouncers. Oh, the bouncers. Yes. Ah. All the bouncers come from there. Yeah. So that was a, it was more of a central meeting point. Yeah. To say, okay, in the morning, let's be ready at this time. You know where you saw us? Mm. Opposite summit. Is that where you no, saw no, no, us? No, 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 no. I saw in Pretoria. Okay, because Mauti, you were looking out the window. I thought you were in the windows there by summit looking down. <laughs> no, funny enough, the building, that's where we the were. building I lived on the opposite summit, so I would have seen you looking yes. out the window. Yes, oh, opposite summit. Oh, yeah, like literally, direct okay. opposite, yeah. I see. Or we were in by High Point. You know High Point? Yeah, that's Pretoria Street. That's where I saw you. Thank around. you, yes. So that, that's that's the sum total of my ill brow adventure. Let's be brutally honest. Did you mm. check, like, did you give a fuck if they were legal or illegal? Who, in, those of in, in you hiring your... your, your, your legal Zimbabwe or illegal bounces. in what way? No, they're not Zimbabwean. Oh, no, Congolese. Yeah. Zulu stuff. I lived in Hillbrow. A lot what, of the bouncers in Zim, uh, in, in, in Hillbrow are, are, are Zimbabwean. A lot of the bouncers. A lot of... when you go to clubs, a lot of the bouncers are in the mang. The Zimbabweans. Are right. The so or did you check if they were legal or not? Or so you, you look here. Let's no, no, it's not that I didn't care. But in order to be legal, if somebody is here legally, whether they're from Zimbabwe, Congo, America, as long as their paperwork to be in the country is there and they have their CIRA, which is your private security industry regulator. Yes, CIRA. If you don't have CIRA, in the security that's industry. it. And also remember the contract that we had, they checked. That's why we needed to come to Hillbrow first, make sure everybody that we're sending there is sorted because when they got there, it was checked independently, not by us. So there was no way we were going to use illegal guys, bro. Oh. We'd lose the whole contract. But also, most of those were actually Zulus. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Believe it or not, in Hillbro, the, the Zulus are Zulus are very strong. A lot of I them are bouncers. Hillbro, bro. I know. Yeah. So I know, I know, I know. those are the guys that we use. They've all got Sira. They've got their firearm competency. They carry guns. Those are the type of security we need for what we were doing. And how's that going? Are you still in it? I'm in it, but that one that I was in that time is over. Uh, that contract obviously came to an end, but I'm still in it. I still do one, two things, one, two things. Which kind of events did you, like, guard? We did. Or security? We did Major League Gardens. We oh. did Dining uh, Echo. So what was it called? Live in Color. We did one man show. Oh, for Shimza. Color is coming up in Foslo. Shout out to Khotso yes. M. Shout out to Khotso M. We did um, Oh My Jam. We did a couple of these white events. Hey, but those ones are like, they were the worst to control. Because like white people will always say something about something. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, like somebody will come there, get rude, get clever, do something fucked up, catch a smack. It's in the newspapers. Dude! Whereas like at the Major League Gardens, if you come there, you get out of line, you're inappropriate with a female, you catch a slap. You hear nothing oh, about it, bro, you know what I mean? Story. You what, once slept him, like I said, at Major League Gardens. What happened when I, you slept him, like I said, no, we heard he was like, he was like, yeah, I don't want to say. And, and, and once slept, was like, oi, 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 shy, oi, oi, you slept uh, the accent out of him. What happened? What Where that, fact incident? checker? Let me no, just go. Fact checker, please fact checker. Fact checker, did I slept him, like I said, or once him, like I slept. So so he was slapped. I don't dispute. Or was he punched? Or he was slapped? He was slapped, and he was he was he was in an altercation. He caught one two shots, but he was also in the fight. It's not like he just got slapped. So that's like I was in the fight. Okay, yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's some, a fact, eh? That's a fact. What does that mean? According no, no, that means she wants to speak. Oh, ping, ping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She According rings According to bell. Times Live, yes, what DJ Warris did slap Mzeke Zek, but it's rumors. 
Ah, uh, thank you, fact check. Okay, what happened, brother? Okay, what happened, brother? Okay, okay, dispel the rumors. What happened that evening? Dispel the rumors? Yeah, what happened? Well, you said it's a rumor now. No, but... fact checker said it's a rumor. I said the man did get slapped. There's pictures and video evidence, man. Like, it, okay, what obvious. happened? Okay, okay, what happened? So, We're not that old. What happened know? was, at the event, at the time, Mzega Zega came there. He got into an altercation at the entrance of the venue, mm. which had nothing to do with me. I wasn't even there. I was called there because obviously once this thing escalated, they were like, security, come to the gate, mm. right? Then they were like, okay, you guys need to leave. Boom, zege, zege, and the whole Easy Nyoga crew. Oh, yes, yes. Fine, right? Because it's a problem now, right? Some would remain and some would go. That's how you sort any altercation out. Yes, yes, yes. You yes. and I get into a fight. One of us needs to fuck off. Yes. The other one must remain inside. Otherwise, you're just going to fight outside. Yes, yeah. if we, we kick them both That's out. It. Yes. So it was a thing of, gents, you need to leave. Everybody fuck off. And to be honest, there was a lot of people in his crew. So it's not necessarily yeah, now that made the shit inside or that got into the... Nature. Yes. But if you and I are together at an event and somebody fucks with you, I'm going to hit them. You yes. are my bra. You understand? Yes. <laughs> so by the time I got there, this thing was like an argument. And unfortunately, when I was in the security, when I was doing the event security, everybody knows I'm waras first and foremost. Yeah. So anytime anybody would get clapped, I would get blamed. Because when they say, who hit you? Then they say, Abu Waras and his bouncers. Because it's, it's the first name. Anytime you assault a dude, they ask yeah, you. Yeah, like that, you can't yeah. say, it's a big black guy with a black shirt. Yes. That's mm. not, you know, yes, fact yes, check, yes. am I right? You can't, bro. So they say, <laughs> that's not how she works, but yeah. I was spying on you, but yeah. Oh, fact check, am I right? Bing, bing. <laughs> okay. They'd either say me or they'd say like one of the white guys that we worked with because yeah. they were easily identifiable. Yes, they yes, yes. They stick like out like a The one with the tattoos. And they're white. The white guy with the tattoos on his neck. Mm. You see, and which would obvious. be my partner, Chaz. Yes. You see, so Chaz used to get blamed a lot. And honestly, he wasn't mooring everyone. He was mm. eating one or two. Mm. You know what I'm saying? People always get fucked up at events. But it happens. So I guess he walks around with the mask. Even he was walking mask. around with the mask. He was doing his thing. He was actually scheduled to perform on the night. Mm. You understand? And I mean, I saw them all backstage. I saw the guys. I know these old We're coming long, coming from YFM. So it's not like I don't know them. Mm -hmm. So we were fine. We were jovial. And then obviously when people, when tempers are high and people are starting to get loud, ah, bruh, you know, you forget your place. Mm -hmm. And then I'm in charge at the event. I'm not there in my capacity as Waras. I'm there doing security on behalf of Major League Gardens, who is my client. Mm -hmm. So if I ask you to leave because you're fucking up inside, I expect you to leave. If you respect me and you, my bruh, go home. Now if you're going to tell me I'm not leaving. You slept. You get slapped. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's but also you. Well, no, I didn't slap. No, 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 no. Um, I don't. Need, why must I slap? I'm not a bouncer. I'm the boy. I'm in charge. I'm not the bouncer. Mm. But I mean, are you gonna really risk touching me at an event? <laughs> so you forgot the point. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> one <laughs> So when when one. the fight broke out, yeah. It's also dumb because if you're with people, it's like me. If I go somewhere with people, yeah. right, coloreds. Right? I have family. They all call it. They live in Aldo's, for example. Everywhere I go with those niggas, there's problems. You know, they're faulty. They get into trouble. They get into fights. Mm. I don't move with them anymore. Because when the fight starts, I'm the guy. Everyone that we're fighting with is going to say, Waras. They don't know those niggas' names. Mm. Yeah, true. You understand? True, then true. I'm going to be in problems. Like when I was at SABC, there were so many articles about me being in fight. I wasn't in the fight or I wasn't the one fighting. But it's reported as Waras and Mang and his friends, or Waras That's and his be like girlfriend. That. Like, like if you do something exactly, because so you're married you, to Mini or whatever, it's all gonna mean his husband. It, thank you. Yeah, the oh, celebrity it's, it's, yeah. name comes first. Yeah, you need to drag exactly. someone. Yeah. Now and, and, and they don't even give you like a, the chance to respond. Base. You know what I mean? I once got a call from one of these publications, and they were like, "This is what we're hearing. We're hearing that when uh, you were fighting at X Y Z place." And then I said, "Okay, please regale me." They're like, no, you were here last night or whenever it was, say Thursday night, you were at this place and you got into an altercation. You, Sizwe Lomo, and it was me, Sizwe Lomo, and one other person. I think it was like Marv from Live Air. Yeah, Marv and Cohen, Some, yeah. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> that never happened. Yeah. Okay? We were out, but we were nowhere near that place. We were at like a SABC thing or something. You know what I mean? We were at like some event, an urban brew thing. Yes, yes. Somebody picked up this Stompy. That Stompy became that Stompy, like a system of broken telephone. Mm -hmm. And then they say, Waras, Siswe, Lomo, and Mang Mang were there fighting with XYZ. We were never there, bro. And I tried to explain to this journal on the phone to say, my brother, I'm, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. I was not at Taboo. I was at 
fucking Monte Casino. Mm. So you and Swap good. Then it's like, good. no, but we know, we know you were at Taboo. <laughs> so you and Swap good. Me and Swap good. I don't know. Cause you stepped his boy, you know. How? Who's his boy? Um, say, say. Um, say, say. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh. He's boy. Inner boy. <laughs> <laughs> we're all good. <laughs> Oh, okay. Me, yeah, that's cool. Boom, Zega Zega, and the guy that slapped him. Yeah. You check. We are not. Nah, man, it's good yeah. to have you greet. We haven't even greeted the chillers. You know, Mac does a whole Enda thing. Yeah, but so, Enda. Yeah. What, oh, that's that's actually one of the only words. Di Macheroni and Enda is the two words it's MacGyver okay. taught me when we worked together. Hey. Hey. Enda. Enda. Yes. Huh? Oh, you you're just like said, you're, like you you're pressurizing. En, you said hey. Enda. <laughs> <laughs> Already, I just got. Speaking this. of Enda, Enda, Tura. Yeah. Do you still like anal? Oh. You apparently used to like anal. What the fuck? According to who? Receiving According anal. To Mac. No, Mac told. Oh, you see, Mac, fuck. Oh. Mac used to do a show before you on the radio. Right? Yes, the morning then, glory. Yes, you yeah. did it after him, and then. Uh, sorry, sorry. I did the show before him. He did the morning yeah, glory. Yeah, but but apparently, yeah. Mm. So when he took over, obviously, off air, you tell him about some anal stories. What the fuck? <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah, that's what Well, like you should have fucking roped in fact checker because that's some bullshit, son. Nah. Maybe I told him. Maybe I. Bullshit as we, we would literal, share stories as guys, sense. bro. Like you fucking share stories about, yo, yeah, Yasmin, I've been I was at the bank and then mm. I met up with so and so and we'd laugh. But I mean, I wouldn't be like, you know what, MacGyver? At five o'clock in the morning, I've elected to tell you the story. I really like anal. I fucking love that shit. Because you know going to have a podcast one day and then... I exactly, and then you'll fucking tell it. Saul that I liked anal. I wouldn't tell that guy my... I wouldn't tell him any secrets. So the whole anal thing is ass. <laughs> the whole anal thing, it's a matter of opinion. Do you understand? If you like anal, you like anal. Please, yeah, I'm dude, not no hating. one's going to charge you for liking anal. No one's going to... Surely not. Why the fuck would Depend they? anal with who. But it like, does. That's yes. the first question. Anal yes. with who? Yes. No, no, no. I'm assuming... Anal I mean, in I've, what position? I've known you. Anal with the condom without a condom. There's a lot of dynamics to anal. You. That Jesus. I would consider I had I been discussing... To anal. Teach us. What are the dynamics I never ever said I like anal. In actual Have fact, the whole... Have you tried anal though before? Obviously, I've tried everything, bro. Like, and how the fuck? I'm waras, my nigga. What's going yeah. on? So you tried it and didn't like it? I wouldn't say I didn't like it, but ah. I, I, would, I would say that it's it like... It feels the same. It's overrated. Yeah, no, like it's like, ah, bro, you don't want to... I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not into like really like freaky, weird shit. You know what I mean? I like normal <laughs> stuff. I feel like you should be confident enough in yourself to just try normal stuff and everybody should be satisfied. I feel like when you start going to levels where you're like, ah, let me put it in your bum and then fucking suck my finger. Hey. The fuck? You know, it's weird, bro. But also, do you discuss it beforehand or do you just start pulling these things out of nowhere during the sex? A bit of both, generally. What happens if the person is then like... What? Do you yeah, understand? Th- then, you fuck the whole, yeah. then, you, th- then, you know... You retreat and do what? So, so, oh, some conversations you stuff. start... You can't start during Okay, yeah, you Can see, you say, say now some... You know, or... Someone you're married to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. uh, say now, you want anal, the right? Wrong do, t- do you yeah. prefer the wrong? No, I'm just saying, it'll, that is a conversation we need to have before. You can't do that during oh, the sex. So that's a whole discussion. It's a yeah. whole discussion. Wrong whole discussion. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to say it before. R- yes. Prior, prior. Have a discussion. But if we're yeah. we'll fucking and then because some some things you have to, as such that you have to prep for, right? You gotta prep, yes. dog. Yes, I know that. I know the prepping part because I actually have a, I have a lot of gay friends. Yes, you can't sound, eat. Okay, okay. In the sound of you wrong, can't eat. I have a right? lot of gay friends. Obviously, the yeah. discussion has come up because them niggas is gay. Yes. I'm gonna ask them, bro. Like to say, Xe, how do you all operate this thing? You understand? And one of them. One day when we were having the discussion, he took me through the whole prep mm. of, you're not just going to come home from work and be like, bend over, let me Thank you. smash. Oh. There could be shit in there. There could be a lot oh. of things. Yes. But if you prep properly, then I understand it's a very enjoyable experience. But I haven't had the need to discuss with any of my sexual partners some sort of three-hour prep so that I can then have anal with exactly. her. Is it three hours? No, so I, I'm like a making full day, an example, maybe. Man. I'll tell you, the one when I did try it, let me tell you about when I did try it. I was very young. I was like 18, 19. I think I was like in That's first the age year. to yeah. try these things. And I had this girlfriend. And me and this girlfriend, we used to have sex all the time. Obviously, we're lighties, you know what I'm saying? And she suggested that we try it. And because I was a lighty and I was dumb, and I hadn't even, let's just say I hadn't even researched it. I was like, yeah, fuck it, let's try it type of thing. And then we decided to try it in the shower. And for some reason, I thought it'd be a good idea to lubricate with soap. 
Ha! <laughs> like bar soap, you know, like fucking while we washing. I just said, oh, this makes shit slippery. Use it to shave, use it. I said, jeb jeb on my winky. I said, dawa. Didn't prep, didn't put one finger, two finger. Hey, inside. The cherry just shoot. Ah! <laughs> wow, sh- I stopped. Obviously, I'm like, are you okay? She like, she went faint, bro. She fucking collapsed. Hit her head on the shower door. <gasps> I was panicking because my mom was coming home from work. And you know, like, I was, just, I was young. Ain't no in your mom's shower. <laughs> Bro, in my mom's house. What a fucking Fuck. puss. What is wrong with me? What a fucking nut puss. What's I'm sorry, what's mom. In I'm sorry, mommy. <laughs> no, man, but real talk. She, like, proper, like, fainted. Bro. She had to fucking sit down. The shit was pain. That was the, the worst experience ever. I didn't want to try that shit afterwards. Whoa. And then someone asked for it and they were prepped. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's why I just said, nah, this is actually pointless. And after I had the chat with the gay old boo and he told me, he said, this is how this thing vibes. Because sometimes it can go like this mm. and sometimes it can go like that. I was like, ah, yeah. For real. Exactly. Also, like, as niggas, man, you speak to other guys and yes, yeah, some will tell you, yo, it's fucking amazing. It's the greatest thing ever. But some will also tell you, like, yo, Mm-mm. I was operating. Next thing, there was shit everywhere. Ah, I don't. Mm. Uh, I'm not... I don't know what the, the percentages are like in terms of the risk of shit coming out, but it's really, those odds are not okay with me. Mm. I don't want to fucking end up with shit all over my bed. <laughs> with someone you care about though, you know? Even worse, why the fuck would I want to fuck someone I care about in their bum? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> so are you saying, hey, people who fuck people in bums, they don't care for them. <laughs> you fuck. Do. He doesn't give a fuck about you. He's fucking <laughs> he in your bum. You. He thinks you're a whore. Uh, for real, uh, I, I don't think that is true. No. I so think every that's... wife, every wife out there whose husband had said, "This to Eno proposed." Yeah. It's not, it's, from that point, he doesn't love her. For that husband no, and that wife. Maybe they're just curious. Maybe they're just curious. No, and they God. want to explore it with you. They... Yeah, cool. That's your opinion. Curious. You say they love each other. My thing is. Explore one another. Yeah, explore, explore. Yes. Pla- but there's so many things to explore. I don't know how many people you've had sex with, but there's unlimited exploration. Yeah, it's just, and, it's and none of it, no, none of it so includes, many things you can do none of it includes anything that might be deemed, like you said, do you discuss it before, during, or after? Because when the discussion happens, especially if it is your wife or whatever, when you have the chat, it's likely that your wife or your husband, whoever brings up the chat, is not going to want to hurt your feelings and might just go along with the shit because they don't want to upset you. If your wife thinks anal is fucking weird and you bring that shit up for the first time, she's going to listen to you and she's going to say, yeah, sure, babe, I don't know, but maybe, whatever. And then you'll convince her. Mm. And then she's going to leave there thinking, what the fuck? It's fucking always weird, bro. You want to fuck me in the bum? That's you understand. You've destroyed your who you were to your wife has now yeah, changed. Because she'll think that maybe she'll think you, you're trying that she, shit with other people. Or, no, no, yeah, or other people, or you're implying that you're no longer enjoying it in the main entry. Now you're thinking so. And I'm not saying this is always the case. I'm not a fucking No, no, no. Generally, I'm saying generally, generally, these are the risks. Unless Again, you say to like, her the, Is the anal really worth the risk? Back to my original question is that you could fuck up with your wife because now she's gonna think you're fucking other people you're not enjoying the normal stuff that you have you're creating that insecurity by bringing up this dumb thing but it's not just only anal anything new in sex mm. she always tends to and think also that. like this is me pers- personally even me. women who actually want to try it yes. like your ex I get it's, it. So it's actually sometimes women who initiate it. Yes, but she was young, man. Like young girls want to try fucking strange things. You yeah, know but I mean? you'd, even people in whatever ages, because of something yes, that has also been aunties, said. Like milk yeah. and shit, dog. They want to try fucking weird stuff. So it's not only just men. Because they're exploring. So, yeah, they also, because it's like, maybe you're with someone who's saying, oh no, I do it regularly and yes. it's fun, it's nice. So now it's put in your head and you're thinking, hmm, I should try it. But now, ghost lady, what would your opinion be? Say we're having this discussion, you know, this open forum. Yeah. And we meet this girl for the first time. Mm-hmm. And me, you and Sol are the panel. We, we are now here to say, okay, where, where do we, what category do we put her in? You understand? Which spec <laughs> is this one? Mm-hmm. And she opens, the, when we say, what sort of, you know, what sex do you like? The one is going to say, oh, I like sex with my husband or my committed partner. Yeah. You know, missionary position. Like really simple stuff. Yeah. And then the other one says, me, I like anal, dog. Fucking put a line of cocaine in there and smash me. That shit is wild. When what? we leave that chat, what are we going to think about that one versus the other one? Are we going to... Oh, you she's did? more she's sexually liberated. Exactly. And she's explored more and found her sweet spot, her, her sweet spot, right. and what she enjoys more. Literally, that's it. That's all you're gonna think. Yeah. What would you think, Ghost Lady, depends. as a woman it hearing depends. it? As a woman, okay, no, no, I can't, I can't judge from. A, I'm saying if 
Because you're talking about it's a panel of you guys, right? Yeah, it's the three of us. No, yes. it's me, you, and Zoe. Okay. No, but I thought we are I, discussing this hypothetical person. Person, right? I'm thinking it depends on the level that you you are in. Yeah. So if you're looking for someone and you're just saying, oh, no, I just want the simple sex where we are happy and with simple, nothing complicated, then obviously you're going to go for yeah. the one who's going to give you the good missionary, whatever other um, positions, and you're happy. But if you're looking for the extraordinary sex, yeah. definitely you're going to go for the so one who says... So the question is, are you looking for... Put it in uh, anyway. Because if you're looking for a wife, you're not going to take the extraordinary one, am I right? No. No, you won't. Oh, you can't Dude, have a gonna, wife who's I'm great. I'm not going to take that. No. no Do you I want a wife who does boring sex? No, I don't want and, a wife. this is a person you've... Chosen, elected mm. to be the, your only, well, in theory, your yes. only sex partner for the rest of your life. And you're going to choose a boring one. No, or I a, see. A, an ordinary one. I'd rather get one that I explore with together. I don't want one that's fucking exploded 100 people. Now I'm here catching tips. The uh, fuck? Maybe, maybe you're not confident in yourself. No, I am. That's, that's why I know I can find one that hasn't tried anything. Then you're not confident in yourself. Because yeah, one am, who's so. found, you, you feel like you won't measure up to me, one of her past partners. Perhaps, but I'm not trying to measure up in like the realm of sexual depravity. I'm trying to measure up in other things, you know, qualities and values that a wife looks for in a husband. I don't want to marry someone that's like, yeah, this is when he fucks me, I fucking, fucking put cocaine in my asshole. It's fucking great. She's like, what the fuck? I don't want my wife going around and telling her. Different strokes. <laughs> different strokes, <laughs> yeah. That's why I said, really for me folks. personally, I feel like it depends what you're looking for. Um, that girl that, like, for example, the one that said, let's try anal. She was trying it for the first time with me. I'm on it. It didn't work out, but that should have, could have gone really well. Mm -hmm. Like some of the other anal experiences I've found out about. Today, I'd be sitting here telling you the story when you said I liked anal. I could say, yo, dog, when I tried that shit, that shit was fucking amazing because X, Y, Z. And I would have been fortunate enough to try it with a girlfriend or like someone I cared about rather than a fucking porn star that I found on uh, OnlyFans or some shit. Mm. Nah, it's cool. I feel like you're shy, shy. You know? I'm shy, <laughs> shy. You know, the whole but it's fun. We can move. Yeah. You know, we can Zosa, move from Zosa has an, uh, wanted to say something. You just say, you put your hand up. How Did are we you? in class now? Oh, okay. <laughs> you put your hand up. Ah, you changed on me, Zos. Okay. Yeah. But also, Zosa, I can't run you through my entire sexual history. You know who I am. The chillers don't. They the know who you are. They don't know you well. like that, though. Yeah. No, but I mean, like, but obviously, because I feel like when Sol was saying, oh, you're going to be boring. No, you don't have to be boring. But also, like, son, you need to know where to draw the line. You know what I mean? Some shit is weird. True. I feel like you actually confessing to us that you fucking weird. No, no. Yeah. No, I'm explorative. I'm not weird. Like, I'm also explorative. But weird is not, reason, weird, weird is not, you know what I mean? Yeah. Listen, if, it's, I, if it's two consensual adults, it's not weird. Yeah. You're just exploring and you're connecting. Okay. And, and with some people, you get a connection you don't have with other people. Yes. And with some people, and you always want that with your partner. Yeah. You'll experience something you won't experience with other people. Okay. We are balanced. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> that was a podcast. I saw an interview. Obviously, whenever you come in, it's a new face. We're always curious. And we've got these questions and stuff, you know? Mm. Yeah. How was the panel show when you were there? Because Mac is of the belief that he's captured. And I want you to touch on that. Mm. On like panel. Or like that there's a, 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 a backer who sets the editorial policy or the direction of the podcast. Of the what podcast. the fuck? Well, if there is, let me tell you that that, that person wouldn't be very happy with where Penwell takes it because Penwell's views, by and large, are very controversial. You've seen what he tweets. If you watch the yeah, podcast yeah, that I did a, with him, a G, yeah. Yeah, you'll know that. Straight like, talker. Hey, my man. I actually did one with him last week. It should be coming out in the next two to three weeks. I know what I'm talking about when I say that a lot of Penwell's views would be extremely offensive to most people. Mm. What I like about him is he makes the statements and then he qualifies what he's saying by backing it up. Yeah. He doesn't just say, hey, fuck everyone. <laughs> he doesn't just say, uh, you know, I love anal. Something for the sake of saying. Yeah, yeah. you know, to, to because of stir. Mm. What he does is he'll say, I think that we need these type of measures in place in order to fix the country. Mm. And some of the stuff that he thinks you need in place is fucking extreme. I can't talk about it now because it's beyond the podcast. But... I then need to come in and say, hmm, that's a bit far for me. But after he's explained or whatever, I can agree and I can hear what he's saying. And I think that's very important. So if there is a backer, I don't know where the fuck they're trying to take that shit. If he was coming on and he was talking about like, 
you know, fuck this political party and clear maybe agenda, heavily yeah, pushing yeah, the clear done. agenda yeah. to push a certain political party. He's never done that. He talks shit about all of them. So I, I don't know which one it would be if it's politics and I don't know which it would be if it's corporates. Uh-huh. Maybe, you see, so I don't think Not, he's captured, dog. Okay. I actually genuinely think that nigga's just about it. That's how he is. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it was nice. I went there. I had a very nice discussion with him, long form discussion. People obviously clipped 15 second pieces of the discussion. It got fucking millions of views on TikTok. Colors oh, yeah. were coming for me. It was heavy. You see that? I said, see, why were colors, colors, why why colors why? coming for you? They were upset because I said I'm not colored. I must be forced now to be colored. because Wait, you said you're colored. not colored? Yes, I was so speaking in the broader sense of what I was saying. Yeah. I was saying that... Remember there was a tweet a while ago where yeah. this person tweeted... The tweet trended everywhere. Gayton McKenzie commented on it. I also commented on it. It said that colored people don't want to identify as African. As in, oh yeah, sometimes yeah, like, let's then, be honest, right, bro. Then somebody let's took honest, somebody bro. took the tweet and was like, "Yeah, because we're not black, we are light skinned or whatever the fuck they said." And it was like, "No, nigga, this person is saying African from Africa." As mm. in, no, I, that's not what they that's say. the tweet, the original tweet, the original tweet. Okay, but the conversation was: Are they saying African the race or African the continent? Oh. And it had it was a long fucking thread, bro. Right. So then people started commenting and saying, "Colors." think um, they are better than blacks. And then people started commenting, the colored people, and they were like, yeah, we are not black. We are coloreds. And that's why black people don't see us. White people never used to see us. You know that old chat. If you, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know any colored enough, people, white enough. it's one of the, thank you. Yeah, you're one not of black the oldest. enough. You're not white enough to be white. You're not black it's enough One of the oldest black. burdens. They when you're in the black, yes. Yes, right? Now, remember, I used to be colored. So I also know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Go, oh, oh go you, you used to be kind of. Yeah, like I have experience. Check, check up, please no, check on that. I'm not like, I'm not like <laughs> coming and choosing a race. Then I taste like, being colored. I used to be there, me, guys. <laughs> I know these people. Wait, wait, yeah. so wait, wait. Are wait, you wait, African man. now? How does that work? What, mm. How do you used I was, to be colored? I how was, are, let me cut a long story. I don't want to repeat the whole podcast. Okay. Go fucking watch it if you want to see. But long story short, what I was saying is, okay. I was saying that culturally, the way that I identify is Zulu because of the way that I was raised. I'm not from Westbury. I'm not from fucking Cape Flats. So I don't identify with that culture. We're fried. We're fried. Ukoko, Umasbiya. You you understand? My granny was Zulu. That's how we were raised. I was raised speaking Zulu. I have black family members. I spent the majority of my time there. I only came here when I was fucking first year varsity. Yeah, yeah. So I can't just throw away 18 years of my life and be like, okay, because I moved to Joburg now, I'm from fucking Eldos. That's I'm true. not. And that's, that's what I was saying. Oh. I was talking about that. But I said that because I knew these motherfuckers will jump. And they jumped the cunts. And they shared it everywhere. Mm. They made me tremendously famous. And in the end, I was fucking... You know what I mean? I was literally making that statement to be controversial. Now, when we were talking about it with Penwell, it was like, what is a colored? Mm. Trevor Noah was a colored. That nigga left here. He got to America. What was, was a colored? <laughs> what, what was he when he was here? Remember that nigga used to work at Y. Mm. What was Trevor when he was in South Africa? No, but it's different. That's context, remember. Why? Because in America, a colored is der- it's a derogatory term. Okay. Yeah. So, so you why can't is say, not, why you is say it not mixed race. You say, and, yeah. and mixed race sounds right. bad. Yeah. So if I exist, Even in if I exist on earth all over the world, right? What am I? I'm colored when I'm here. But when I go there, are you saying that I must be whatever people like who look like me are called when they get there? They say mixed race. Mixed race. Which is in, in context the same thing. Cool. So can I then as a South African, can I now make an announcement <laughs> on podcast and chill that I am mixed race now? <laughs> Do you think the coloreds are going to be happy with that? They're still going to say, he said he's not a colored. Fuck him. <laughs> Others were posting videos. Other famous coloreds. They were posting oh, videos saying, yeah, came at you? Vele, we don't fucking need him. On <laughs> Omni <laughs> <laughs> as only any as so like baby. we're choosing teams in school. Yeah, like, yeah. Sol, you're on my team. Yeah, yeah. Most lady, you're on my team. Yeah. When I make a nick funny. I said, I don't, what the fuck? Who said I want to be on your fucking team, man? I'll be whoever I want. I'll do whatever I want. Why does it burn them, Uti, me now? So now you're not black enough, you're not white enough, you're not I'm, enough. I'm clearly not enough of anything, according to colored TikTok. But it did well because it... it, it so are you fucking, like banned from like Eldos? What's not a the, fucking... What's, the, tr- what's happening? No, I'm not. I go there all the time. Okay. I have family there. So again, is it a thing of it's just the black Twitter? Now it's the colored Twitter it's, talking. Yes, I just felt like so the we've response got a, showed we've me got a, a lot. We've got a colored Twitter. 
also. A colored more Facebook, you know those ones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, it was like TikTok, Twitter, everywhere. I just felt like the response to it shows you a lot, like that original tweet. That guy was trying to say we are all African, as in we are one united continent. The, the person who originally that, tweeted yeah. it. And then South Africans, black Twitter and colored Twitter, took it into a conversation about, yeah, you blacks, you never see us. And then colored people were like, yeah, we are not black, we are mixed race or whatever. You understand, the response to the tweet showed you more than the tweet itself. And the response to me saying, I'm not a colored anymore, I've retired, showed me more than that statement. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Could have been a joke. I could have been fucking around. I tell people all the time I identify as a Mexican. Do you think I fucking identify as a Mexican? I'm joking. Mm -hmm. But I can say whatever I want and I can do whatever I want. Why can't I just be Waras? Like, don't you niggas know me? Google me, nigga shit. What's up? Waras, yes. what's your name? What's your real name? Warwick. Warwick Stock. Oh, okay. So, I have a white name. So go from must be a, how how do you become a stock? <laughs> hey? From must be a, how so do you become a stock? Must be a, his husband was uh, John Baptiste Paladin, an Italian man. A white okay. man. Okay. Yes, who oh. came from Italy. Those days, a lot of Europeans would come here because the Afrikaners were inviting them to bring us. Yeah, expertise. a lot of people yes. came. Portuguese, Germans Italian, came. Germans. Exactly. Yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. people came here lot. to English. come. Yeah, and they made like really cool deals with them at the time. They'd be like, yo, if you come here, what is your skill? Oh, I'm a baker. Cool. You're going to come here. We're going to give you a bakery for this price or a free bakery. We're going to give you a piece of land for next to nothing. And you can come here and you can teach our members how to make pizza. Oh. Then Ningo was from Italy. I'm obviously, I don't know. I wasn't there. Mm. I just know the story. When he came, he bought this piece of land. He, he met Masbia, in this case, who worked for him at the bakery. Then he obviously operated must be. Mm -mm. Said I was far from home, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it's like when you go on tour with gigs? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How so was... Rox must be at no, the no. bakery. Uh, he married One in the oven, pregnant Masbia, now. Must be was his wife, right? Oh, and then wow. the, they had a set of twins, Agnes and Arthur. And the set of twins was mixed race. Mm. Yes. Believe yes. it or not, one of them, when apartheid did its thing. One of them passed as white. They had green eyes and they had a fair complexion and they had like brown hair. Yeah, still as a kid, of course. Yeah. You understand? So when the apartheid thing came along, Agnes actually continued into the next phase as a colored and Arthur continued into the next phase as a white man. Jesus, yeah. man, apartheid you see? is And because up. Arthur moved away, he moved to Durban, he then continued his life as a white man with a white wife and white children what? and the blood was... Mm, mm, mm. The blood was washed oh. because now the white man made children, the white, colored, yeah. Yeah, yeah, made children with whites. I have children with whites. Them niggas are, they're on the line, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you have children yes. with whites? The little one, especially because his hair is luxurious, he doesn't have hair like mine. You see? You don't, yeah, and it's you, brown, you never it's grow like your, a light you never grow brown. Your hair. No, I used to long ago and then I got tired. I had very long hair. I used to tie it back. I used to make oh. cornrows. It's like an afro, bro. Oh, yeah. oh like 18, mm. man. It's like We've a soft afro, yeah. but it's an afro. Okay. Yeah, I cut it when I was... You and Drake don't grow your hair. I cut it when I was 20. Yeah. Because I used to work at Photoshop and they weren't allowing it. They were like, I, my man, you can't come here with cornrows and shit. Okay, so, so Arthur is there living so white. So Arthur is there living, living white, yeah. having white children, which then had more white children with other whites. So there's people around today who are of my generation, similar age to me. They are whites. They are whites and they have no fucking idea from, from that we are the, In Durban? Yeah. From the from Durban, from Masbia yeah. and, and Batiste. Wow. Yes. Batiste. And I actually reached out to one of them on DM, on Instagram. I said, hey. Recently? Ah, uh, like last year. Okay. Yeah. Would you believe? We spoke, spoke, spoke. They were in Durban at the time, blah, blah, blah. She moved overseas. We would talk and stuff on DM. I recently moved to, well, not recently, but I stay in Melrose. And I was DMing, I responded to a story of hers or something. And she said, hey, do you stay in Melrose? I said, yes, I stay in Melrose. She's like, you won't believe. I've just, we've moved back from London or wherever they were. I stay in that fucking building, son. I saw you the other Blood, day. Blood, yeah. Because like, they're yeah. connected. You see? Yeah. No, no, she was, they weren't ugly about it. Like when I approached her and I said, no, your great-grandfather was Mang Mang, you know, like that whole thing. She yeah. said, fuck, we've heard that story as the family. What? They weren't like, no, fuck you blacks, we don't want to oh. know you. No, no. That's not what I'm saying. Like, so, like when you said fuck apartheid, Arthur didn't leave because he was like, 
yo, let me get away from these blacks, man. No. You understand? It was 10 times. He was like, I'm out. I'm going to Durban. And but then maybe when he got to adults? Durban. As an adult, yeah. Oh, okay. As an adult. Mm. When he got to Durban, perhaps what happened is he realized that I like this white woman. Yeah. Now, if he had said, I'm actually a colored, I'm from Freyheit, he would have been thrown in jail. Mm. What do you do now? Do you not continue the relationship with the person you love? If yeah. must be, yeah, right? Would have been considered a staff member of the bakery at the time. What if John so Baptiste a was told? Of the bakery. What if? Ah, ah, so on. What's wrong with you, so dog? Ah, oh, put it She's there with the boss. She married the boss. Oh. She married the boss. She didn't ah, fucking. She's, she's a, a wife. In the oven she's a wife. Oh, oh, right. Respect who must be. <laughs> There were no yeast infections flying around hey, in the bakery. Hey, man, that's all. <laughs> so what is wrong with you? <laughs> it's a bakery. You ruin everything. Loud. It's a bakery. <laughs> oh. Anyway, point is, apartheid didn't allow for that. Mm. So I feel like the guy was also forced into a corner. I don't think he did it on purpose, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the yeah. times were sensitive. Times were sensitive. I mean, so that, never... that's where I come from. So now, fast forward fucking 100 years. Yeah, I am in Joburg on Penwell's podcast. And now you must put me under pressure to fucking be the messiah of color. Be the allegiance. I can't help those niggas. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I can't. What am I... What does it matter? Yeah. If I say, okay, guy, I'm a colored, listen to me, stop fucking killing each other and whispering. I assure you, they're not going to listen to me. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. Like, what do they expect me to be? And by saying, mm. this is how I identify, this is my story. Oh, you are. Let's be cool. We are still cool. I still chill with you niggas. Like, we are okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. You're right. You know, it's like, it's like when you see a black kid, right? Let's say you meet someone who's black your age, but they had a totally different upbringing to you. You know, you want to go to Foslo, you want to go to Hyde Park since... Oh, they were not. Or America. Yeah. I was yeah. Alibaba, they were there in exile. They're still black, and their reality is different from yours. From yours. It doesn't make them less black. Than yeah. Just it doesn't. It doesn't she. make them less black, but you also can't expect them to human. understand the culture. Yes. 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 Where it's like... What's wrong with you, bro? Eat this nyama in Klogo. That nigga's not gonna eat the nyama in Klogo, bro. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, he, he, he might like it. He, he might like, like it, but as yeah. soon as you tell him it's a cow's head. It's like... <laughs> you understand? Reality shock for him. Yeah, so you can't expect them to then just jump into the culture that they come from. When, like you say, they've grown up different. It's like, have yeah. you ever met a black person who can't speak the neck? And then you find out, oh, this nigga was adopted by white people. Then you feel like an ass for for not for thinking what's wrong with you for not understanding. Yeah. Like. True, but you know, it's very What's that guy from Nine Four Seven? The black guy. Greg Lucky. One of the two. Is what? Black, yes. Right? And I think his surname is. I think he's even got a white surname. Fact checker. I don't know. I don't want to say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. not trying. Yeah, to, no, 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 no. That guy was raised by I think. Yes, yeah, he had. Yeah, he, had, yeah, yes, he was adopted. Yeah. Yes, yes, right. Yes. Now, yeah. if he can't speak Vernac, we can excuse him. But doesn't mean he's not black. You know now because genetically he's black. He's a black oak, bro. You make a valid point. You check. Mm. Another thing, Mac. I wasn't doing research. Another thing. Okay, Mac. About, we must play a game, actually. Jesus. Let's right. use to sell drugs. I didn't know this, bro. Huh? You used Let's to use sell to sell drugs. Who the fuck said I used to sell drugs? Mac. And let's fuck his... Mac, man. <laughs> Mac's boost, man. I didn't sell drugs, dog. So he he suggested we play a game, right? Okay. We show you, but obviously because of legal reasons, we're not gonna tell the chillers. We show you different pictures of different celebrities. Yeah. And you say if. Oh yeah, he told me they, this too. If they were on drugs. Yeah. If they're on drugs or not. <laughs> yeah, the king. Yes, yes, yes. So, so. Mac left instructions to say, fuck this guy. No, because he knows you like intimate, well, personally. Right? <laughs> not intimately. More intimately. More intimately, without it sounding wrong. Yeah. He knows yeah. you more intimately. Especially after he told you how much I used to love anal. <laughs> it's like, mm. He knows you intimately. He mm. told us how much you used to love anal. <laughs> like, what were you guys Those doing? Those things are mutually exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> So he said we must show you a pic pictures of celebrities, which I don't have. Mm. And then you'll say whether, yeah, they do drugs and, you know, the mannerisms you've picked up yeah. on, 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 you know, from them that, that suggests that's druggy behavior. Yeah. Yeah. Look, what I've noticed about the scene, and as you know, me, I've been by and large undercover doing other things. But I've recently, I've been like, not even recently, after COVID, Nobody went out during COVID. There was yeah. that lapse of whatever the fuck, three years. Now, since it's opened up, you go out, you see the scene, you know, like places you used to go are not the same anymore. The people are not the same. It's fucking weird. A lot of motherfuckers are on drugs, though. For real? Yeah, I don't yeah. remember seeing druggy behavior at this level 
before COVID. And like, I'm just saying before COVID. Are you COVID, serious? Because that's the last time. Like, I was out. I was on Kagasi. We what are the signs there. of like... Even in Durban, my man. You know how many people are on fucking ecstasy in Durban? They're always tripping balls. Everywhere you go. People are on ecstasy in Durban? My man, Indians are on something called sugars. Wow. I didn't even know what the fuck sugars was. But then when I moved there... What are sugars? Bruh. It's like... I think it's... I think it's like fucking what's called tick in Cape Town. So it's not the opposite and it's of called... what black students have. It's why. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> sugar is, is sugars. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, look, I don't know what's in it. I don't, I don't make the shit. I've never smoked the shit. But I know what it does to people. Yeah. And what does it what do? You would, what does it do? Fact check. Fact check has got something. Sugars. What the fuck is sugars? Sugars is a nicotine drug that's mixed with heroin. Ooh. Right. How similar is that to tick? Please, sorry, fact checker. Because I think tick is crystal meth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, yeah I think tick is crystal. Heroin's meth. fucking highly. Yeah. Now it makes sense because those motherfuckers look so like it's nicotine mixed with heroin. Uh, heroin. Right. Oh. Because let me tell you how to identify someone who's on sugars. Thank you. They'll either they'll have no shoes and no dignity. How they fucking will try and sell you anything, my man. Not just vagina or blowjob like a crackhead. This guy approached me at the garage because I used to live in Umklanga and the Konubia Mall was where the studio was. I get to the, the petrol station on the way to my place, you know? And it, this is in Umklanga, dog. You don't expect to be, like, hassled by, like, someone on sugars, you know? This guy comes, he's fucking barefoot there. He's wearing, like, a... It looked like a skindy of, like, a 12 to 13-year-old boy. Mm -hmm. That was not his pants. Jeez. And a fucking school shirt. This is an adult. Okay. And he's like, hey, how's it, bro? You chowed already? I'm like... Have you chowed already? He asked me if I chowed already. Okay. So he's like, you chowed already? And then I'm like, uh, yeah, I chowed. Like, what's up? He's like, bro, don't buy a chow, yeah? Because I was going into... I was like, no, I haven't chowed. Like, I'm, I'm going to Barcelos to buy something to eat. He's like, don't buy a chow, yeah, bro. Someone bought me this chow. But I already chowed. Take it. He wants you to sell me the Ooh. Barcelo somebody had bought for him. Yeah, because he claimed to be hungry. Yeah, and he was fucking like... Uh, and I'm thinking, why would I buy from second you? food take it, yeah. from you with from your you. 12 to 13 skinny? <laughs> like, are you fucking stupid? Without shoes on. Dog, like looking at this guy. It's just like, ah, you have got problems. Like he had sores on his arms and oh. his mouth was, you know? And he was trying to sell this Barcelos to everyone that was pulling into the Barcelos. You chowed already. So we buy buying chowed. Don't then. buy it. Here's a quarter chicken meal. Take it off my hands. I already chowed. Take oh. it off my hands. Like, take it off my hands, nigga. What? Oh. For like 20 bucks or 30 bucks or whatever. Take it off my hands. Take it off my hands. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded so polite, though. Yeah, right. Take it off my take hands. It off, take it off my hands. I already chowed. I'm full, bro. Sure. Like a quarter chicken meal of the road. What you buying? What you buying? What you buying? <laughs> you buying a quarter chicken? Take a quarter chicken. It's like, this is not happening. And then he tried it to the next person, the next person. Anyway, I, did, I gave him like a 10 rand or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm. Let the nigga get high. His life is fucked anyway. Buy your sugars, my man. Go home. Oh. Stop embarrassing yourself trying to sell secondhand food. Jesus. Man. Shame, man. Ooh, got an idea. Yeah. Ah. Well, there hasn't been any comparison between heroin and sugar. However, there has been a comparison between sugar and cocaine. And it is stated, according to The Guardian in 2017, that it does have the same effect in terms of addictivity with cocaine. So once you do smoke sugar, you do become yeah. extremely addictive to oh. it. Right, so but what it's much about, cheaper than cocaine because that shit is like five rand a hit or some shit. Geez. So what about ecstasy? How do we see then someone on ecstasy? You like you said in well, Durban. They'd be, yeah, like somebody on sugars you could see at a traffic light at midday. It's highly unlikely that on a Tuesday at 12 o'clock you're going to find someone on ecstasy unless they're just stupid. You'd find someone on ecstasy at a party. It's a rave drug. It's a party drug. MDMA, ecstasy, that sort of shit. So if you go to festivals, when you go to gigs, and it's white people, like ultra or some shit. you find plenty of them there. They're on MD. They're How not on sugars. Them, How do you You see check them, bro. They're fucking tripping balls. They're in the vibes. They look like they're in their own world. If they take their glasses off or if you manage to look into their eyes, you can see their pupils. They'll be fucking munching their jaw. Fucking Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean munching their jaw? Yeah. No, like... Have you never seen people doing that? I've seen some of them. They're sort of... Yeah, or they on an Instagram or they live. Yeah. yeah, a lot of videos on Instagram, funny ones, where they're like, "Yo, this guy's having the time of his life," and then it'll be like, "What the fuck is that guy on? He's probably on like fucking ten MDs." Or something. <laughs> I don't, 
Yeah. I've seen. Uh, I can't remember now, but yeah. I've, I've seen it yes. before. Yeah, but also, MD. if you think about it, you've. Seen or maybe it was an MD of a company too. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So and it, like cocaine people are like well in my experience are like erratic. It makes some people can take cocaine and you'll never say that they're even on cocaine. So and then others will take cocaine and then they fucking all over the place and it's like obvious that you are on something. You know, like I'm talking now, not, so at, a, all over not the at a party there. I'm talking now at a party here in Santon. Yeah. At our night spots here in Santon. Yeah. You'll see them, that behavior, they go to the bathroom and it's like you just peed. What the fuck? Are you peeing again? You're not peeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They up and down to the bathroom. They come, every time they what come back from the bathroom, the bathroom, there's a peppy, the there's step. You know what I mean? They go into the bathroom, they're eating lines. Oh, but it's, yeah. it's like... So do you have to have, have, take frequent lines or is just... Well, it depends have, on how you take it. Some, some people can take one, some people can take ten. What? You know? If you and I try it for the first time, I'm sure if we take 10, we'll die. Sure. But, you know what I mean? But if your body causes it, builds Yeah, up, like I think you build up a resistance. Oh. Yeah, you, you build up a resistance. Yeah, fuck. I know some guys that can take that shit for a fucking whole weekend. Because you also get people who can say, right, we're doing this. They fucking hit it for a weekend or for like a week. I've got friends, every year they go to Ibiza as a big group. Six, seven of them. Whoever's going is going. Are they DJing? They fuck. No, they're not DJing. They're just normal oaks. They work. Just, yeah, okay. In corporates. Others have got their own businesses. They've got money. <laughs> yeah. so, so they go to Ibiza. They hit that week of partying. They fucking drug themselves. Fucked up. They fuck as many whores as they can and gee, they come home. And then they go back to work. Right. They, they don't do they get back here and try to sell second hand Barcelos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do they travel there oh, with the dear. drugs or they get them that Nah, side? you get the drugs in front. Well, that's the, the party culture in Europe. Like, you know, your oh. Ibiza's and your Amsterdam's. And when those th- those big festivals and those big periods of party are there's going plenty on, of there's supply. plenty of supply. Man. Okay. And that's not a Waras thing. That You can watch a docu on that shit on YouTube. How much of the industry is on drugs, man? Like from, you know, 100% of the industry that you know, mm. how many people, like roughly? We'd have to start with the question, how much of the industry is on... Or, 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 what is the reason that people in the industry take those drugs? Good question. Mm. Because some will be taking it because peer pressure. You feel like you're in the crew that's taking drugs. That's you dumb. also take drugs. No, niggas do that shit. Some will take it because they really need to fucking deal with whatever the fuck it is they're doing in the industry. You know what I'm saying? So to deaden the pain. You know, people use drugs as a coping mechanism. You understand? And some will take it for the confidence to do whatever it is they do. Oh, like, like yes. they've got social anxiety. Standing yes. in front of so they need people. to take those drugs so they can be that clown. You know, that, what do you call that person? The the jester. You understand? Mm. You need to be that guy. So maybe you take for the crack, for the crack. The, give you the crack, you check the vuma. Others are taking it as a coping mechanism because they're fucking selling their bums. Jeez, people sell their bums? You know, man, we spoke about anal earlier. What the fuck? So, <laughs> like, yeah, we spoke about anal. I mean, we spoke about anal. We spoke about cocaine and anal. I did say. It goes hand in hand. Yeah, can you put that shit. <laughs> can you, what do you have? Uh, stories. You always have stories. Yeah, I always have stories. Okay, well, it's all sometimes it's just what things that just um, happen on the timeline and they just grab my attention. Which and I want you to ask you guys everywhere, social like, you know, just timelines. socials, okay. socials. And I want you to ask you guys, like, how did you feel about the Dr. Musam Tombeni and um, his wife, Lizelle? That like, thing. people always going at him. For just being a loving husband who's always speaking openly and just loving on his wife. I didn't and then see people the call him a what, simp. what did he say? No, simp. guys. It's... Nah, you, yeah, they're calling him a simp. Just yeah. because he's showing public displays of affection yeah. all the time. You know, he's always on top he's of... He's married to a former Miss SA. He's always what on top of some roof love. telling people he loves his wife. Yeah. So people are sick and tired of that. And some people are now going to the point saying, <laughs> she is not doing it back. So it's a one-way relationship, you know? And I think ah. it's... It, people are cunts, eh? Bro, people are wow. cunts, man. Like, guys, if I were trying to do Musa, unfollow him. You know <laughs> yes, what I mean? but like, also, like... like it, it's simple. Okay, follow the guy. Let me be Come honest. On. If he just... Is, this is how you know they're not discussing it. Because if he was doing it and then she was doing it back, I think, guy, uh, these two, they're talking about it in the morning at home and then they're like, babe, I'm going to tweet this at 11. And then you must tweet this at 12. Man. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. It would look prepared to me. It would look the doctor, fact that he, the whole relationship. There we go, my son. Yeah. Scalpel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? So, I think 
he's doing it because he genuinely loves his wife. Yeah. Also, I know the guy, bro, and I know her. You know what I mean? So and I don't, I don't, I don't think he's a simp at all. It, it's possible for men to actually not be cunts to their wives because they just genuinely love them. Exactly. I feel like there's too much Andrew Tate on their brains. And if <laughs> you know that. <laughs> You know that shit like now when niggas are starting to act like they top Jesus. Bro. Like, and if Umusa <laughs> feels like... It's okay. And, if, and, 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 and there's nothing wrong if Umusa feels like Obama Bay checkpoint and is going to remind the whole world every day All the time. about it. You know what I mean? There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Like me, I don't get people, man. But like I don't even, even think it's like worth... It's yeah. not a thing, man. Well, and it's, it's his wife, that. dog. It's not like it's some like, chick that he's seen. Mm. Then you could say he's a simp. It's like, yes, you're trying too hard to over-impress. He doesn't have to impress if she agreed to marry him. Yeah. He's okay. He sleeps in his bed every night. Gumnandi. He can say whatever the fuck he wants. But maybe that's where people are coming from. That, well, dude, you don't need to prove to us you love her. She And she loves you. She agreed to marry you. Yeah, but th- he could also be, because let me, let's put it this way. On the socials, he's still Dr. Musa. You know, at the end of the day, it's known that he's famous. Like, everybody knows him. He's got money. You understand? He's pulling a fucking Miss, former Miss SA. There's bitches DMing him all the time. Mm. You understand? Maybe yeah, he's true. making it public to say, leave me alone, bitches. True. I'm not interested. Yeah. Now, shout out to him, man. Yeah. Well, when it... I see him, I'll tell him, Dr. Musuk Mamelaband. <laughs> But does it say something about the society that we lack so much love that we're going to hate on people who actually show love? What does that say about... Hurt people, hurt people, miserable people, hurt people, I mean, hate people who look happy also. Yeah. So maybe it's also a mirror to the society Jesus, what well. are you fucking seeing a professional with all those? Yo. <laughs> no, but... Hurt people and miserable people and miserable people. <laughs> no, and, and, and miserable people uh, hate seeing happy people. Yeah. No, but it's like that, bro. Like you know, so maybe it's also a mirror back at people. You know what I mean? Like, nah, man. Man, people are cunts. They'll, they'll, all, they'll, they'll always the try like, to come... At this angle for whoever. It's love, man. Right? Like, if you if you look at whenever the stories <laughs> hit the timeline, people are never, like, no one is trying to, and also us as the people consuming the, in, no one's trying to read, like, positive words of affirmation and shit like that. Mm. People are there for the spice. You understand? Yeah, true. A story comes out to say, hey, goodness, sex tape. People are not like, oh, that's mildly inappropriate. Let's remove the sex tape. They're like, where's the video? <laughs> we want to see the video. That's true. <laughs> exactly. This tweet is worth nothing without, without the video. video. Who do we born? My yeah, baby it's, born. It's like that. What do they do? So much I'm a screenshot, but father like those hot and tots with the hey, but you who no boy. <laughs> why? Oh son. Why? I think that shit was funny, but yeah. why did you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. People are not coming out as fucking support groups like, <laughs> fuck this nigga, you should have never released that six step. Yeah. Listen, yeah. yeah. You shouldn't have recorded that shit in the first place. Yep. True. Now, man, I'm going to Musa. Ah, I'm going to guys. What else you got? I'm going to keep you sex tape, but change is good to go. Yeah, man, I'm going to keep you in sex tape. Yeah. I can't. I can't imagine. <laughs> guys, people are concerned about the egg shortage. Have you guys encountered? Are you going to... Do you see that there's there's no eggs on the shelves now? Are you worried? Mm. So, would you like me to say something controversial? Speak your mind. Yeah. Speak who your mind, is bro. concerned about the egg shortage? Uh, people, because eggs tell are you, being rationed. People love eggs, bro. Eh? People uh, yes. eat eggs I went to go buy eggs. eggs are a cheap source of And I could whatever. only find by six. The, 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 the 30s are gone or 60s are gone. It was just only the, uh, the six. six one. So why didn't you take And five, there was six, a so? note. No, there was a note saying only take one. Oh, yeah, there was a check. Oh. Yeah, there was a there note. Was a note. Only take one. It says one unit per family. So you need to bring all your you four kids. <laughs> bring all your four kids. <laughs> bring a hundred clipper. Bring them, give him a clipper. Grab an egg, grab eggs, grab eggs, grab eggs. Yeah. Me, me, Baba <laughs> Raj. These are all my neighbor's <laughs> kids. <laughs> These are all my neighbor's kids. Yeah. They sent their kids with me. Get back to the wood, sell those eggs. Yeah. As loose, loose man, eggs. I'm but, loose. No, Connor Shamans, man, with the egg thing, man. I don't know, man. I know there's avian flu, bird flu and stuff, yeah, and it's affecting the and chickens. And the chickens had to be culled. Yeah, they basically. had to be culled, exactly. So Yeah, but I mean, how far ahead of schedule are they fucking egging these eggs? Are they laying these eggs? You understand? Good if question. The, if the bird flu is like beginning of, of, of September... When does the shortage hit? I'm thinking this warehouse is full of just eggs. Eggs, bro. Because like, I mean, me, no, look, I don't, I don't, I don't no, eat no, a lot. Like for real. No, I don't, don't eat chicken, a lot of them. Chickens lay eggs last Friday, Monday, Monday, Sister Chekasi. Tuesday, so look at Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I thought about it as well. Like, how, what's the leeway, the time frame between okay. if a disaster strikes like avian flu, do we start seeing it on the shelves? Here's just instant, like, how? 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 <laughs> 
That's the strike. It's a full, yeah. yeah. Like the, it's a uh, pandemic, guys, right now. Oh, well, there's a breakout. It could be a pandemic. breakout. Yeah, it's a pandemic right now, guys. Why through. I'm asking is, why I'm saying that is, the egg shortage is going to affect poorer people. Rich people are still going to buy all the eggs they need. There by my Woolworths, there's no sign saying take one. You what's can take as many as you like, but it is fucking expensive. It's, it is, it's Plugus. expensive. Hyde Park, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was no limitation on how many eggs you could take, but it's really costly. Uh -huh. But I still buy the eggs because really costly for me. Like, yeah, I'm not buying enough eggs buy to say bucks. this shit is breaking my budget. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. you're not going to leave them because no, they break, break your budget. Thank you. But if I operate on my set budget for groceries for the month, Ish. and like you say, eggs is a staple. Yeah. Now I can't yeah, buy the eggs. Staple, yeah, it's, remember when they said there's a shortage of Mazambai? Was I never suit? felt that. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, she was really like, stuff. watch, shorty Jama Zamba and incoming. And then this guy was like, Agna shortage. And then Sizwe hit him with the files to say, there's a shorty Jama Zamba. Mm. That shorty Jama Zamba was supposed to like hit us all hard in terms of now when we go order our meals, uh, take away, you know, burger, chips, and you're going to get burger, a cold drink. <laughs> <laughs> the way it was supposed to yeah, 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 shut down our car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never felt that shit, dog. No, nah, I mean, I think there's something weird happening. I don't. But think, remember also, when they say there's a shortage, the truth. when they say there's a shortage, the prices go up. Of course. So it's almost like, of course. You niggas are scamming there's us. There's something. Exactly. There's Could something, be. yeah. Like, and what's special about the white eggs? Nkumra, like, figure check us, I'm a condom shop a pair. Shop it? Yo. Whoa. Like everybody bought the, the brown eggs or the normal eggs. And then, no, I'm a condom shop. I want a condom shop. I know I'm they're egg from wise. America. I always see them. I'm an egg wise, man. No. Eggs are white. Yeah, eggs are white. The shell, the shell is white. It's okay, yeah. yeah. I wasn't following you. I thought eggs are eggs. No, the, egg, the white eggs. The, the shell white with the eggs, white shell. Yeah. Yeah. No, man, those are Easter eggs. Yeah. No, man. Nah. <laughs> What's that I mean? I saw the eggs. Uh, 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 you know, and they're okay. bloody expensive. But I was like, I, I still have eggs. Really. I don't need eggs. But now I call but I had to, like you said, and you only take one. But I think something is weird, man. I think we're being lied to somehow. Yeah, Obviously, I don't have the facts and the proof. But... We're always being lied to, Yeah. But we've been lied but to a lot. Check, man. But we're not check. actually being lied to. Yeah. Oh, yes, a, there's a fact. There's a fact. Um, just to give you more context, one chicken lays one egg a day. So it's not like there's a fleet of eggs that are being laid on a day-to-day -day basis. But there's and a lot of chicken. And due to the avian, not really. There's hard body chickens. They do not lay eggs. And oh, then there's the egg kill. laying. Yeah. What chicken, what chickens chicken don't eat? There's, there's chickens chicken that, that you eggs. eat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah see, and see, then there's see. chickens that lay eggs. Yeah. So just... Not all chickens that you see lay eggs. Oh, oh shoot. The ones that lay eggs only lay one egg a day. Wow. Yes. But that makes sense. That means that the okay. bird flu hit the chickens that lay eggs, mm. not the... Not, not the chicken not the pieces. Board. Not the hard board. Corn and cook. Oh, not, not about corn. the chicken And also, and also some of the, the, <laughs> that chicken is imported as well. Yes. That's another thing. But saying is your yabon up at Hyde Park. Corn, that chicken on the rotisserie. I showed you. I showed you. Yeah, yes. I Footy price your corn. It's a fad. Wait, exactly. so a chicken lays an egg a day. Wow. And if it if it skips a day of laying an egg, it becomes hard board. You hear what happened? You hear what happened to Saul? He didn't lay an egg. <laughs> but Mr. Rainbow Pony. You're like, yeah, so it never gets laid anyway. <laughs> now you're like, gotta get this egg out. Fucking chickens are under stress. Remind me, that's the short. Yeah, now. When you're going to affect Azuma, mama. What? For pick a lab and do and stuff. But no, I don't have, like, my kids Because you brought consuming. it up. No, no, because it is something that's just been trending. Guys. Oh, your kids and don't I, eat eggs. No, my son. Uh. He's, he just has eggs over weekends. During the week, you'll have your cereal. Dude, so. My son. How old is your son? He's eight. Yeah, because it's funny you bring that up. My son, he's 11. Okay. He's always loved eggs. Like, he'll tell his mother to make him an egg at like 11 p.m. You see? And I'd always be like, obviously, you know me, I'm a baby daddy, so I'm not always there. But when I am, I'm like, nigga, it's 11 p.m. Are you fucking serious? She even has, you know, that thing that makes the egg round? Oh, yeah. That's like, cool. he loves eggs. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he yeah, must yeah, be prepared yeah, like that and whatever. And fucking, when I come there, what do I get? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> well, that's because you used up her mom's eggs. Yeah. <laughs> All of them. There's a short. There's you a shortage. Eggs. <laughs> there's a shortage now of the eggs. She told me there was a shortage of eggs. Clearly, she was lying. <laughs> <laughs> she laid an egg one day, and yeah, he is. <laughs> one by one. 
<laughs> what else? Joking. Shout out my Those are all your stories. No, there's other stories, guys. Like, so much things happen over the week. Do you know that the spring box and the prote- uh, proteas, did you hear that they are, p- are possibly facing a ban on um, uh, uh, singing, getting to, to use the national anthem and using the flag if they do not comply with the um, anti-doping code? Do you know about that story? They are facing a... So I they, heard some, I they heard won't that. be able to use the what? The, the anthem? national anthem and um, the flag. The flag. Yeah. Because When I she said the flag, I thought she was talking about that other flag. That Which flag? Clear. The LGBTQ flag. flag. No, that other flag, that fucking old African oh, flag. No. Like, oh, no. What the fuck does that have to yeah, do yeah, with rugby? The flag, the flag. Oh, no, no, no. The no, flag. No. Mm. So uh, basically, fact checker, please check what's yeah, going on so there. So basically, they have to amend the outdated Drug Free Sports Act to comply with the latest World Anti Doping Code um, that came into force in 2021. Yeah, so. So that's the, what it is. So, because people were, I think there was a whole debate on like, Something obviously performance enhancing yeah, drugs, but like, I mean yes. you've seen some of the spring box. Are they trying no, to no, say no, that? No, I don't know. I don't think they're saying the spring box are, 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 are on stuff. No, anti doping stuff. Just need I think to as update. a as a some as a country, I was there's a sports body. If not the separate uh, codes, yes, they need to sign. You know that thing that that updated anti doping thing that a lot of the countries have yeah. have, have signed. But on in rugby, sign. look, I don't know. There's a word for it. Tell us, but. Come on, dog. You've seen what rugby players look like. You know what I mean? They're not just eating chicken and eggs. I don't know. No, come some, on. You, no, but you some of them are built that some way. Some of them are. But no, no, I mean, no, no. Some no, of them are built that way, but some of them have got a bit of added, you know? And I don't. But it wouldn't be the spring rocks only if that's the case. You no, know I mean, and like, I mean, a lot of those... Yeah, but like, if everyone in the rugby field is on something, then it's fair, Moose. And, no. it's more, and it's more exciting to watch. To it's be a lot more exciting to watch. <laughs> yeah, no you know one wants saying? to watch. I no feel like sometimes things. they also try to make sport boring, man. By not... Uh, yeah, by telling it people, hey, fucking, you know, anti-doping, you must go for a test, take these hormones. Have you seen, like, in America, there's a lot of, like, transgender athletes that cross the line. They're so... Yeah. They're so... Cross the, the line. Is it, like, as in... They cross the... They... It'll be a, a man that then identifies as female, like that. Oh yes, yeah, see, like that's Leah Thomas. Now, yeah. Now they're winning, like in, in the world rankings, and they're like smashing rank like and, and then now they're like, like number smashing one as records a woman. and shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. So and then that. it's like, no, but I'm on female hormones. I'm taking estrogen, and it's like that's not helping. Yeah. I think she like like she beat you know like in swimming, the record was let's say 32 seconds. Yeah. She's. If you beat a record generally in a sport, you beat it by like milliseconds. Yeah, yeah, like of course, because of the effort. Yeah, and you'll hit like thirty-one point eight. You can't just. She came in like twenty-seven. <laughs> she smashed the record. <laughs> and then it's like, I feel like a lot of the time. No, it's unfair, man. I, I, like it's. Uh, I think it's not like it's. I mean, if now I, it's just not fair. What do you think? Man. Do you think it's, if I get a sex change now, then I compete with Kanye? On uh, shot put or weightlifting. Uh, yeah. But the thing is, you don't I even. Win. I win. Uh, I win. Sol, but you don't even have to get the sex check. I would just wake up and say, hey guys, I'm no longer Sol, I'm now Sally. You can't do that. You can. That's you, what, you can't identify. No, you need to have. You can change your identity. No, you going. identify as what you identify if you say so. That I know you can do that in society, but in sporting codes, you surely you can't. You can jump on the hormones, but you don't have to cut your winky off. Damn. You can keep it. And you can say, I'm on the hormones. Therefore, my testosterone levels, I are wet. But you'd still win the shot put competition. Yeah, of course. I think it's, I think it's very unfair. Because and it's I- just like, imagine you a girl and you've been running your whole life, my man. Training after school every day. You mm. made, you know, Northern Natal colors. You made a Gauteng team or whatever province you're from. Then you made the national team. Like, this has been your life for like 20 years. And then you get to university on a scholarship to run. You come there, there's Sol, shot put Vu. Sure. He's throwing 20 meters, you're throwing like 12. Sure. It's a fuck up. You know, your whole life is ruined because Sol is there. Jeez, and now you don't up. even make the team because... You lose the scholarship, yeah. you are fucked. That's what's happening in, in, in America. I follow that, a lot of that stuff. Man. Yeah. I follow a lot of those pages. I'm a big Trump supporter. Maga. Why are you a Trump supporter? It's a fucking big boss, bro. You like Trump? Just fucked up. Like him to pieces. Ah, good, good, good luck. Go fact checker. I, 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 I went through. Fact checker loves Trump too. Say it, girl. Yes, no, she girl. doesn't love Trump. Yeah, in a way, Trump. Yeah, 
but I'm not going to speak on American politics. Don't admit to anything like that, fact checker. Let me handle it. I can take the okay, heat. Okay, please take the heat. <laughs> Warris, don't worry. Yeah, let him take all the heat. <laughs> I'm um, okay, just to make a clear explanation on what Ghosty said um, in regards to the flags being suspended. Um, according to the World Anti-Doping Code, we were supposed to update our code in 2021, mm. which has not been updated till this day. So after an arbitra arbitration oh, okay. court case, okay, I don't know how to say that word. Arbitration. Um, Okay. Right, yeah. South Africa lost and for that they have been sanctioned. So mm -hmm. they're not allowed to sing the national anthem mm -hmm. or raise the flag until they sign and change their coding and uh. update it. Also, we're not allowed to host any international sports sh um, games until it has been updated accordingly. Yeah. Is this now during the Rugby yeah. World Cup? Yes. Oh, yes. fuck, so yeah, the competition's already on. What kind Yeah, bro? no, no. No, no, it's actually... just that, like, then uh, they, they won't show our flag. Uh, yeah, but come flag. on, Sol. But, uh, I mean, we're not going to be part of the competition. We are the reigning champions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, our World Cup, now you're telling us we can't show our flag. What's the fucking point? Then? Let the guys play in fucking... When the, news, <laughs> no. when the news came out during the week, they literally said we've got 10 days to comply otherwise. So this is current. And then obviously with the proteas, you know, it's going to start as well. So Yeah, but who, who's responsible for amending it? Because it sounds like it's at like a like a legislative level. Yeah, it's, which in this fucking yeah. place, that shit might be, we'd be lucky if it's amended by December. I'm yeah. going to amend that shit in 10 days. But I have no idea. Yeah. Now, you have an idea, man, but nothing moves yet. No, I have no idea who, who implements it or you'd asked. Okay, it's it was implemented by the World Anti-Doping um, Doping. Code, WADA. There is a sanction WADA. for that. WADA. Yes, WADA. And Marga. the South African Institution for Drug-Free Sports was supposed to sign it. So we also have our own department in yeah. regards to that. South African Institution for Drug-Free Sports. Mm. We have all these like bodies, all these acronyms, all these fucking organizations. We should have one for the industry. Nothing works. We, sh we do have one. Remember when the Generations Actors went on strike? Oh, I remember. And them, they were like, yeah. we will not act until they pay us back pay for the fucking SABC Onco. And then the oh. whites came and said, ah, Ngambani. <laughs> 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 oh. I remember that. That was fucked up, dog. That was me. And they were right. That's the sad part. Because yeah. remember, a lot of their stuff still plays. Um, like your on uncle, your uncle, uncle. Or yeah, and uncle they don't get paid. Yeah. They don't get paid. Yeah, I should have just paid, sold that without. Ish. No one gets paid for that. You know, I'm on Imrati, on 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 uh, Jam Ali. Imzinin Tizo is the worst case. Man. Remember, one of them was asking for money now. Because that is one of the fucking biggest shows ever. Ever. It's a classic. For long. Sell him a tunes. Do go do. Cloudy sold it for once or fee. No one is getting royalties. Cloudy did a lot of stuff. If incomes are being generated. But Cloudy, the full disclosure, that was my guy when I was at the SABC. You know, sometimes you'll have a boss, like we have a boss at the moment, the boss of the country. They're a nice guy. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know I when don't. someone is a nice guy? Like, he's a nice guy, bro. Any SABC employee, I think, if you ask them when they met Cloudy in the hallways, when you met Cloudy, how was he? Mm -hmm. The Oak was a fucking nice guy, dog. He made everybody feel welcome, whether you're a guy, girl, pretty girl, pearl, tusi, wherever you are. Mm. He wasn't like a doers. And then, like, all these stories come out about what he was doing behind the scenes. And then, like, the encore <laughs> people don't, you know what I mean? 90% local, yeah. uh, the multi choice deal. It's like, how? Mm. All that time you were being a nice guy. Yeah, Rubus, fuck. And there's yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You understand? It's, it's nice guy, horribly, horrible. Horrible boss. Boss. Mm. Nice horrible, guy. horrible head of organization, mm. it would seem. But he was a nice guy. Yeah, I'd never had that encounter with him. Yeah. Only when we interviewed him. Yeah. It seemed like a it seemed, It's like guy, a South yeah. African problem, you know what I'm saying? Costa. Yeah. Like, nice guy. But what a fuck up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think our borders are going to be uh, protected going forward now that we've got a new management that is... Um, Which border? The borders, all borders. Yeah, we've, got a new, we've got yeah. a new body because before the borders were patrolled by SAPS, the military, and other home of peace. <laughs> yes. Like it was just a class okay. of, of thing. Now the, it's a border something authority. Authority. Management authority. Yeah, yeah. border management authority. Please check it, fact check. That's not let, let, me, let me help you guys out. Anytime <laughs> something new comes out that's supposed to fix something, you must check where is the money going for Yeah. That thing. Like when Panyaza launched that fucking the BMW crew in the fucking outfits, the Power Rangers. That's um, <laughs> fun. Operation that's fun. Operation. Uh, security Power Rangers. People. But 
No, it's the guys on the streets. The, guy, the oh, guys those on the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are they solving? Are they, they in Hilbra? Uh, I'm not in Hilbra anymore. Oh. Well, so, last time, I, I've never seen them. I've seen one okay. or two. My question about the police is, there, there, there. When, when the police and the military and whoever was patrolling it, yeah. you, you were in Hilbra at that time. How did those people get in? When was this? When in the time that it's been running with whoever was controlling it, it didn't work. You had police, military, yeah, etc., yeah. running the border up until now. Now they're saying, hey, we're bringing in these cats, whoever, whatever. The in court. the streets, nothing has changed. Nothing it's has the changed. The street, Joburg authority. streets are not safer now than they were two years ago. Shit, or fuck, three, four years us. ago. Yeah, yes. so they, it, I see people are earning whatever, but no one is scared of committing crime yes. because Banyaza's people are out there. People are still committing crime. And where, and the where are outside. Banyaza's people? I feel like... I, like after we heard about their launch, I heard more. But I don't see his people. I don't want to lie, man. I Guys, are we just that. being negative? Because, okay, yes, we may not be on the streets, so Solid. but then there are other people who are on the streets and maybe would say, no, we have actually benefited from. Who, like whatever decisions that were made, I don't think so. that's and a fair. Right? But if, if anybody is on the streets and has benefited, please tweet me I at don't shady think underscore. So. Okay. So people are benefit. Don't people benefiting are the ones who are working because they're earning a salary, which and is the ones good. who are driving. I like that, but I don't think the streets are safer now, like because of these patrolling people. I honestly don't. Do you, Maybe you, petty crime, yeah, na yuktoncha. But but that, but that it was to crime crack is them, still that that petty, petty crime, I think, first and foremost, because there was so much unlawlessness. So we have to start with making sure that at least when you walk in this area, <clears throat> this block, you know that nothing, no one can take my back. Yeah, but if then, that, if, my if, question if you is... you just guaranteed that there's a block. Yeah, but these guys, dog, let me tell you what fucking, like, this is what, like, pisses me off most of the time. Yeah. Like... I'm not a boost man. You know what I mean? I'm not stupid. Okay. And a lot of people are not stupid. So when they sell us these ideas, they're like, we're going to put together this team, the Panyaza team, and they are going to solve petty crime in the place. Why then are they driving around in X3s and 3 Series BMs? That's not how you solve petty crime. I don't see how the, you know, the million rand vehicle correlates with hey. we are going to solve petty crime in Hilbra. A Panyaza's people riding around in X3s. How? They're riding around in fucking real? X3s, boss. And oh, three. My man, bloody Google bloody it. Bloody Fact checker, just tell this nigga what's up. I thought the one was street patrol is like walking Yeah, but, but, but patrol is not PM. Oh, but patrol is not PM. So, I didn't know, man. Minangiti, how are you stopping those petty crime cell phone thieves in PMs? Back on the Timbi Satus. Back on the Timbi Satus. Okay, please. It's not cool when we're from Privet. Yeah, Housewife Centurion, Hyde Park, I want to. He'll be out of touch. No, no, he'll be out of touch. Share, like, share it too, so the difference that that's the hell, boy. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah, 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 it's him. It's him. Kuma road block. But that's not what they're there for. for. Serious. But me see motor. Yeah, when I but it's not a road block. It's not a road block. It's not a road block. It's for road block. I'm saying it's for JMPD. I'll take a video for you one day. I'll send it to you. So, about my extract to George or no? I'll take to George. It's strong. Yeah, there's, there's some it's an inside moving around. Uh, it's an inside. But, but, the areas? But, but I only see, I only see them uh, during the day. Around Boma 9, 10, I barely see them. Obvious. Have now you the, been in Sunnyside at 9, 10? So the areas that were prone to crime, Sunnyside, high crime areas, are still high crime areas. Yeah. So nothing yeah. Has nothing has changed. Nothing has changed, really. But yeah, we do see them. We do see them sometimes. But it had failed. We don't see them. Uh, Sunnyside, that's where you mostly see them. But that's where there's the crime, is Yeah, like that's, where there's, crime yeah, the that's where there's most crime, so that's where we see But them. when the hours of crime come, they go. I am Babu, Nigel up. Nah, yeah. 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 Who, who was the most effective, La like, Pepitur? Was it who, who, John Wick? Like the most effective <laughs> yeah, yeah, John crime fight? Yeah. John Wick, John Wick, Mami Lord. Yeah, yeah, was 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 yeah, so there was a vigilante oh, going around killing people. Or Fucked up, people. killing like and other gangsters. And they were gangsters known as John, John Wick. Wick. Killing gangsters. 
the vigilante was Boko Haram. Then John the Meek was like, the boss who was against the boss. <laughs> Who's Boko so, Haram? Now? Also, hey, my man, hey, pause on Boko Haram. <laughs> now, nah, that's pretty I don't know any individuals, a but there's a group of people in Mamelodi, which is a group of vigilantes called Boko Haram. And I think John Wick was the one who was coming up against them, killing them one by one by that time. Yeah. 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 You know what I love about South Africa from this chat is the names. That people come up with for their crews. Boko Haram, yeah. John Wick. Because, okay, we had an issue. I won't go into the details of the issue. But anyway, we had an issue in Claxtorp. So we are told by this person in Claxtorp on the other side of the issue that, no, man, this issue is not going to move forward. We have to speak to these guys who control this place. They are called Al-Qaeda. I say they are called, huh? It's like Al-Qaeda. No, this is what, I'm just relaying what this is yeah? In Klaxdorp, no? yeah. Wait now. Then he says, then I speak to someone else. And I'm like, hey, my man, I'm being told that the situation needs to be resolved by Al-Qaeda. He's like, nah, nah. I'll speak to those Al-Qaeda guys because me, my guys are from Boko Haram. <laughs> and I'm like, who the fuck are these people with these names? Like, why is that their crew mm-hmm, name? Mm-hmm. Like, bro, you're sitting in Klaxdorp. <laughs> you're calling yourself Al-Qaeda. You understand what I'm it's saying? It's the of in ANC. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they go around pissing on no, us but, at small parties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you 10 or 8 years old, they get there, they go uh, piss around. Uh, <laughs> hosting, is, is hosting a tea party, they go to piss Yeah, them. but I can't yeah, see. Like, <laughs> I like that, yeah. That's because crazy. now, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, John Wick. Yeah, bo. Be uban. How John Wick? You know? Mm-hmm. There's that guy. Do you know that guy on, um, on TikTok? His name is uh, Godole. It's like a Zulu guy. I'm not on TikTok that much. Yeah, he's a Zulu guy. Uh, works at the tax. Like he's a rank manager. I think at, at one of the tax here, big taxi ranks. But he's like from KZN. We in Kabi, like, you know. So he, he's made a character out of that whole Nkabi thing where he's got he's got hundreds of thousands of TikTok followers. Mm. His videos do really well. They're very funny. He'll do like a skit where he phones this Nkabi that's looking for him. And then he's like, yeah, uko tole la. Yeah, he's good to Uzongbulala. Uzongbulala mean. As Muban mean, I'm fine. You know, it's very funny. I've never seen it. So when he, he also does these like, he'll have like his friends, you know, in the video. Then he'll be like, Sanmona, Sanmona, eh, Nam Tlanjang, no so la, no aras, like that type of thing. Or he'll be like, eh, Nam Tlanjang, Hamba, Namangan, Bam, eh, Ubachel, Utu, Ban. And then that guy comes forward and he's like, yeah, sure, sure. Mina, span, ban, span, ban, you know? So the first guy says his name. He's got a normal name, fucking Peggy or whatever. Mm-hmm. Then the second guy says his name. His name is Saul. And then the third guy is like, yeah, sure, sure. Putin, look, Vladimir. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only like... Man, dog, I just burst out laughing because they're like, they buy the rank, you know, the taxis yeah. are behind them. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, niggas mustn't come here and fuck with us. Mina, who Putin? Flat <laughs> down me. <laughs> There's always that. There's always oh, a Gaddafi as yes. well. And Mugabe, you'll always Characters. find the Mugabe as well. You always get them. Bro, you, you know a lot of people like, you know? I don't know a lot strange, of strange. No, you know a lot of like, what's the word in the street with AK's murder? You know, you're from like KZN and stuff. Same because and, I know a lot of people. And you, you know a lot of like uh, shady characters. Let's be honest, bro. Like mafia bosses or whatever, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, I, don't, I have no idea who not, killed AKA, if that's what you're saying. No, 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 not that you would know, but mm. like, what's the word? Like, what's this? Well, what are the streets saying? To be honest. Are they saying anything regarding not that? Not much. They're not saying, and you know, that guy was my friend. So I took a, a vested interest in like what happened in terms of like trying to find out. But mm. I can tell you that I don't, I don't believe anything that's, that the media is saying in terms of like the progress with the case. I just feel like it's such a high profile murder. I really feel like it should be a lot further than what's re- what it's reported to be. That's what's dodged for me. You don't just kill AKA and disappear. Bro, I think we're the only country where yeah. a South Africa top 10 current superstar gets shot. Yes, but then if, if we are that country, then I believe like the, the resources like should be put towards bringing in whoever you need to bring in from Interpol or bigger organizations that have better expertise at investigating crimes and we need to really find whoever killed AKA because it, besides the fact that, you know, they killed a father, a friend, a son, ah, you know bro. what I mean? The personal AKA, he was a fucking mega star, dude. And make So for millions music, of fans, you know? they took that guy away. Like that too. On a fucking <laughs> video that was shared all over social media. It's fucked up. 
doesn't sit well with me at all. I'm quite, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was bad. That was and crazy. then it's like, something must be done. We're waiting for the justice part. We're waiting for the, you know, catch the killers part. And because he's such we a high profile come, guy. Look at Senzo. Yes, but that's my thing, dude. It's like how so much is it resources. Is Senzo case? Are we looking at? Oh, I don't know. It hasn't been going on for as long as Senzo, but from yeah. the time that he died until now, nothing. You know, remember they also said they were like, "Oh, we arrested AK's killers." Those I remember, guys. Yeah, no, those guys. Are, even yeah. worse. Even worse. I, I think it was a month ago. The, uh, there was a statement from police saying they are about to catch the killers, which was very weird. Like, how do police? Or if, yeah, if but you, a lot of the time, we're about to catch them. Like, why why yeah. do you need a public We're about to catch you guys. We're coming. Because that run. means it's like, ah, run, hide. Yeah. Isn't, isn't that a, like a sexy piece? Maybe e not e even wow, sexy piece. Problem. Maybe it, problem. Problem. It could, for me, it could also be like, hey, let's just put something out there because the pressure, yeah, boy. Good pressure now to 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 find to the report. killers. But yeah. look at it. Yeah. How they 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 released that. We're about to, but pelele a month, nothing. Yeah. Look, they release a lot of shit that uh, that never materializes. My thing is like, honestly, if this is if this is the one thing where it's like, guys, you know, the way things normally work, this is a high profile case. And if you don't have the resources and expertise to handle this, you can't just put the AKA case there in the stack of cases. It needs to be assigned special team of people to investigate. Mm. That's my opinion. Because as I say, it made international news. It's a big fucking deal. And then yeah. it's like, how have you not caught this guy's killers? Do you know what I mean? It's sad, man. But shout out AKA, he got how many nominations at the summer? Got seven. Oh, hey? oh, oh did he? Oh. Yeah, for Mass Country. Mass oh, Country, dope. it deserves it. it He's nominated with Fact Checker. Got seven nominations. Yeah, I think seven. I'm not sure, yeah, but he's, like, he's the most nominated most person. Most nominated, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. That's power. Beautiful. I was going to say, Ghost Lady, a lot of the time when stories come out, it's almost like they, they're almost giving us the story so we can shut the fuck up. Because you remember the Gupta one? They were like, the Guptas, we're working on extradition for the Guptas. The niggas will be here by the end of the month. That was last year. We're still waiting for we're them still to waiting. name. I never coming. Exactly. So why tell that fucking story that you're extraditing them? Namang. Why are you lying? Do you understand? Same thing with, uh, 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 what is it? Pastor Bushir. Yeah. Yes. He, like, yes. they didn't answer the questions we had. Remember when he got out yeah. the country? We're like, but how did he get out the country? How did he get from right. here right. to Malawi exactly. or wherever when there's a, a arrest warrant Poor issued on his man. name? Tabo Besta. How did he get to Tanzania? Exactly. Cool. Ah, but Yabo, to your earlier point about the border, put whatever fucking team you want there as long as Koli. They're not going to stop the flow of people exactly. across the border. Don't you think, like for that but border thing? But I did say, thing, guys, what if what, what, why can't we be just hopeful and say maybe there would be a change? We're tired of being hopeful. I don't think hopeful, there's going to be a change. I'm so That's tired of being hopeful. Eh? I'm not even fucking hopeful. So long as you're cold. There's no now, hopeful. Tell me, about hopeful. Tell me something, right? That border thing. What is it called? It's the, the border management authority. Yeah, border management BMA. BMA. Right? If they hire. Strictly super xenophobic people to work. Oh. Now think about it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, yo, yo. Hold on. Think yo. about it, right? Yo. No, think about it. Like in the interview, I mean, if I pose them certain questions, you know, <laughs> would you date a Zimbabwean? Hi, 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 hi. Yeah. Would you date a Nigerian? If yeah. your sister brought home a Nigerian, Mm. Um, what, would, what would your feelings be around that union? <laughs> yeah, and then you listen. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. but I'm, I'm and get, then I'm Mabe Brina, like the end of the interview, they yes. say, lastly, they get the most what is this? Lastly, what is this? You're hired. <laughs> so they get the most staunch xenophobic person, right? Oh yeah. my God, that is Do so you bad. think that even those people won't be deterred by Georgia? <laughs> that everybody has their price. Everyone has their price, though, yeah. So, so long as you Georgia, whoever you put there, you're fine. Yeah. And so long as the economics, you know, the, the, the economics of the country are bad and things are bad. That's why it's sometimes more fire, like, travel. You'll find certain countries, Georgia will span. Because That's the thing. people are content in their jobs. And no matter your security or border patrol, your 7,000 pounds can afford your kids a private school education, yourself a decent home and a bond or whatever. Mm. 
then in just find a George as a span in their line of work. But Mzanti, if the economics are still bad, people will take a George no matter how much they want to do their jobs at the borders. So that's my opinion on that border okay, thing. The honesty, the, 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 you, you see, with the... Um, <clears throat> How what's the example you've made? With the hiring of xenophobic people. The hiring people? of xenophobic oh, okay. people. Just to be clear. Just to be clear. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm with you, so. I'm I'm, yeah, I mean, you, you, we are together. We are following you. But yes. no, that sounds funny, Sorry. and it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's an idea, like ha ha ha, that could, you know, but it's a the brilliant honesty, idea. It's a brilliant no, idea. Because no, think about it. No, who no, do you no. hire to work at the gym? People who hate op- 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 obese, obese people, <laughs> right? <laughs> If you want to get it, you can't get a personal trainer who loves obesity. Like, oh, man, I love obesity. I'm like, yeah, you know, man, let's just eat this pizza, man. Oh, burger uh, pizza. Yeah. Yeah. No, but you fuck can get, these get, weights. Very get a child, fuck man. These weights. No. Let's no. wait a fucking burger. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's a, it may sound funny and silly, but it's a brilliant but idea. you know, you get a personal trainer who loves, you know... A partner who is what meaty, and it's not like they want. Yeah, you can love them, but so you won't train with him if he is that partner. If I and come to the gym and the personal trainer is obese, I'm not fucking training with that guy. Yeah, I want the guy with the six pack, or I want the chick with the fucking, you know, the and go stay bone. away from personal trainers who like meaty women. Well, look, I look pregnant. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, you are stupid. <laughs> Personal trainer. La <laughs> Pagusango, <laughs> Mokosu Tandi meat. Before before we close, now guys, I want to make this point that uh-huh. what will help is that when we start getting it, like from kids, they start seeing a culture of the as the older generation following the law to the core. Now that will raise kids who do what? Comply with the law. Oh, and definitely. that's why now we'll have people who are employed and literally, even in the border, it's like, it's not about money. I don't care. Like you see how we enter in some un- countries and you see these people are here to work. They want all your papers correct and then you enter. If your papers are not right, if you didn't get a visa for the country, you can't enter. You understand? Mm. So it's all about following the laws. Everything is in order. That's when. But if we're just going to say, ah, okay, you are xenophobic, we put you there. That's when now you're going to have a price and then you're going to watch, take money and be allowing anyone and everyone to just enter. You get what but, I mean? Okay, let's, let's, let's look yeah, at this. Right? Yeah, no xenophobic, because have you been to them? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, you've been to Zim. Okay, I went to Zim and I went into the fucking Bundus in Zim. Nice. Okay. What you'll find is if you drive in Zim, like let's say you're driving from, from Johannesburg to flippin' Bloemfontein, yeah. argument say. When you're driving and you hit those long open patches with no town, yeah. Yeah. you'll find like a roadblock checkpoint thing. Okay. Yeah. There's soldiers there, there's police there, yeah. and then there's these other <laughs> like Zanu PF guys that drive brand new buckies with Zanu PF logos yeah. and stuff, okay. right? Okay. They'll stop you for routine check. Obviously, if you're a foreigner, they'll look at your passport. Where are you from? No, South Africa. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to XYZ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are you doing there? No, I'm doing one, two, three. Okay, no problem. Yeah. If you're with a Zimbabwean, a local, obviously, they'll speak Shona, whatever language. Yeah. They'll say who you are, mm. and then you go. The guys were telling me, and multiple people have been multiple times, mm-hmm. when you are like Zimbabwean only, you need a very good reason to be on that road going to that place. Oh. Right? And if they don't like what you say or they don't like whatever your reason your story, is, your story they pull you out the car and they fuck you up with fucking shambox. What? You catch yes. a hiding. Yeah. Whenever there's protests and stuff in Zim, yeah. you see it on the news. They don't fuck around. Yeah. You understand? People get out of line, get loud, get moored. Yes. But in Zim, you can leave your cell phone at the store for them to fit the fucking SIM card and whatever and you can go walk around and when you come back your phone will still be there. Mm. It's, no one's going to steal your phone and run away. Inside. Guys. But Gunja, Wait, no. why? Mm. Is there a correlation between the way that people are treated by police, army, ZANU PF, fucking yep. special forces, whatever the fuck they are and the levels of crime, the level of how much the people respect law and law. order. Because here, you've got Kohli. Shh. There, you so you, you are so points. scared to you offer and yeah. say, ah, let me go. I'll give you this because that guy could be that super xenophobic border person who could actually turn around and say, I don't want your fucking money. Are you bribing me? 
take it. How many times we respect our parents or our mothers? Like as a, you are a fully grown man, but you are fully scared of your mom because she what like inflicted the law upon you. So when you are small, when you but are not small. everyone's mom. Some people's True. moms are whore bags. Ah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Some people's moms are fucked up, bro. Some people's no, moms no, no, are alcoholic. Some no, people's moms are not all true. But then, some and, and those moms. people grow up to be respectful, working, good people. Not all of them grow up to be fuckbags. Yes. So I don't know what's the correlation between... You understand? Are we raised? Because we can't... Listen, we don't have time, goes lady, to wait for the next generation. Then we must raise them. Jeez, bro. My lighty, my youngest is nine years old. I can't <laughs> wait for that guy to be 25 and then lead us to freedom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I mean? We need a plan like now. And, and with, right. with the way things are going, uh, I don't know if that... So what's for, called for you BPA. guys, the plan right now is to get the uh, xenophobic PMA. guys on the That body. Honestly, sole suggestion is the best one <laughs> oh, I've heard so far. I'm motivated. Like, I mean, really. Yeah. I'm going to figure out a natural motivation. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So good, man. You know? so, do you think what's what's these like? Because you know you get these xenophobic organizations, or oh, well, they're accused of being xenophobic. Your uh, uh, to do lies and like Gaten McKenzie is very vocal about the fact that he doesn't want illegal foreigners. They must get out. What do we do illegal with the ones that illegal? Xenophobic. Yeah. No, exactly. I'm saying Let's, they are accused of being xenophobic. No, that's not xenophobic. Not no they country in the world. Accused, my man, no country in the world. Yes, yeah. I'm saying as soon as people say. I think illegal foreigners must go. They yeah, are cut lay, off at that point. point. Yes, yeah. we don't yes. listen to the rest of what that guy yeah, is saying. That's true. We say, this guy is xenophobic, fuck him. Yeah. So we can't actually have the discussion. Then you don't want right? foreigners at all in the country. No, that's no, no, xenophobic. That's no. xenophobic. And, yes. But that's my xenophobic. thing is, we seem to struggle <laughs> to make that differentiation between legal and illegal. Yeah. You know, like Ghost Lady was saying, if you've got all your papers, like say, come to Hillbrow. There's no papers there in mm. Hillbrow. You understand? Yeah, yeah, no, of course. Yeah. I was operating on... No papers. Yeah. And what 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 do we kick them right? out? Do what we, do we do? Do we like I'm saying? Like do we kick them out? Do we put Panyaza's little X3 BMW team on <laughs> search and seizure? You like you're stopping people in Hillbrow. You're like, where's your papers? Do we go back to that to rectify the problem? I'm oh, asking. It's a collaborated effort for me. Mm. It's a collaborated. It it, it 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 obviously have to go into all this, whether it's your property, you know, management. It, you know, I'm just saying it goes to all these fears of workplaces, you know, employment. Like that's where now it becomes. If you still have all your restaurants saying, "Hey, we don't care about your papers. You can be a waiter," then obviously it's not going to work. You get what I mean? If it's uh, your properties or your your all these dwellings, and it's just like, ah, oh, no. If you just have the money, like those, you mean like stay. those buildings that are burning down? Exactly. Down. You see what I mean? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's a collaborated effort when it, all these entities and spheres have to now practice. Okay. Everything must be correct. For you to be employed in this business, you have to have one, two, three. That's when things are going. But the game will collapse. Eh? Imagine if you say all all restaurants, no more Zimbabweans, Ooh. with like no more Zimbabweans without papers. Like, I think they'll be. Yeah, no so so like, like, are the two thousand right yeah. now ready to be waiters? <laughs> so and yeah. Yeah. So spagel, like, let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest. That <laughs> the industry is monopolized already. You know? Every really restaurant honest. will turn into like funeral food. Yeah, fucking but line up. Is, but a lot of times in Africa, we're like, like the problem is f- foreign nationals, legal or illegal. It's our law enforcement and the fact that, like, goes back to your point, right? In all these countries where, you know, we see people come, like, with drugs, for example. In Nigeria, drugs are rare. Because the, yeah. cause, cause the law enforcement clamps down on drugs. Yeah. In Zim, crime is yeah. not... You know, in Zim, there's no crime yes. in Zim. I want to Zim, like, Yo. the cops, cops there, like, are fit. Some of them have bicycles and stuff. No guns, but they fit. It's a cop that is still revered and respected publicly and they don't take a bribe. So if we become like that, then we can get rid of the criminals and if some criminals are illegal, then they get sorted and, and dealt with accordingly. Yeah. That's like if I yeah. get to the UK and commit a crime. Do you get me? So also our well, maybe law not the UK. Yeah, and thing and thing. Maybe, I don't know. Like, yeah, but yeah. I'm saying. So our law enforcement, not and thing and thing as well, you know? Yeah. If we're the revered and a proper law enforcement, and we were a law-abiding uh, country generally. Then I'm not going to say, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. No, like I'm just saying, like, no, it has more work. No, it has more work. Kone, 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 
No, no, like... Yeah, you're walking. Yeah, go velu unge nengi na bantu peti tampo pools. Exactly. Then you'll feel like it's normal to do yeah. this in this house. You know yeah. what I mean? Sure. So that's what I mean. We're that house that we need to clear those kind of things. Yeah, because everybody's even, coming in here with Trump. in South Africa are South African. Mm. Even with the burnt building, they were saying the government was like 98% of the people staying there were, uh, 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 are foreigners. Turns out there was like 200 of the survivors who survived. You know, the, of like, the survivors lots, who survived, not the survivors no, of who the died. Survivors. Of oh, the survivors. Nyabo. Okay. Fact checker, just check this guy. Hey. The survivors who survived. I'm the fact. Yeah, there's, you know, there's lots of South Africans there. The thing is, it's easy to take all the blame and just say it's mm. illegal foreigners. Mm. But there's also a culture of lawlessness generally. Mm. That sometimes even us as South Africans are the problem. Okay. So let's just fix our law enforcement. But it's a top-down thing as well. Everybody's lawless. Yeah, true. Mm. If Kiwale Pezulu... And so clear, no less, so yeah. So this has been fantastic, bro. We need to close it up. She's been saying, "Let's wrap yes. it up." Yep. <laughs> Dude, where, where are we gonna see you now on the radio? You starting your own podcast? Where, where's where to from now? Because I think you're a chairman. People are we gonna see you. you on the radio. No, I don't know if you'll see me on the radio. Hear me on. We're the radio. not gonna see you. We'll hear you. you know we'll hear you. I mean. Um, nah, dog. I don't know. Eh? Unless like a, oh, if a radio offer comes what? through and they say, "Hey, we're gonna give you big bank," yeah, then I'll go. Would you but do seven oh two? Not now, no. Fuck oh. that. Yeah. I think you're too, like... You, you need to be older. But I, I need to be older, there. yeah. Like, I see you there, though. You don't you, need you, to be old. No, it's I like... I see you do the top road. People on 702. Yes, fair Clement enough. Clement Magnatella and the likes. Come on. Yes. How old are they? For them, that's their Clement thing. Clement Imagine if I'm on 702. Like, bruh, I've still got... I can do other stuff. I don't have to be on 702. I can hit 702 when I'm, like, 45. And also, you're like... Me you too. Know, I'd like to do 702 in my 50s. When you're 45. Yes, when you're old. You Not need because to, I think it's an old place, but old. I think that, like, you know, once you're at that maybe level 45, of wisdom, yeah, 45, if I go to 702 now, we're going to be talking about fucking anal and... <laughs> 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 like, I'd be too risky. Anal, I think that's maybe why. Like, I don't think... Radio, you know, when we were at Y, the shit that we could talk about, you don't hear anymore. But I feel like you still want to talk about it. That's yeah. why you want to That's who I am. I'm not going to land there. Yeah, so 702 wouldn't be an age factor. It would be a personality thing. Like maybe when I'm 45, I won't be this guy. Yeah. You'll still be a dick. Because you have no. It's not about You'll being a dick. You'll still be a dick so. when you're 45. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> You'll still be a dick. Nah, I don't know. I don't Equally know. Equally so. Okay, when are we going to so. see Warris or hear Warris? Uh, I'm still around, so this guy makes it like I'm dead or something. Yeah. Boss, I'm not oh, dead. You beat I'm on social you back. media. <laughs> I'm there. You brought me back. Uh, Penwell interviewed Penwell me. Penwell brought you back. Yes. <laughs> but I also be- want a podcast. And how do oh, I'm going to make a podcast us. about fucking. Uh, what you would know, you podcast something. about? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what are you no, podcasting honestly, about? the direction I would go is I would start a podcast. If you saw me in media, nice. I would do a podcast thing because I just believe that the other forms of media have run their lifespan. Mm. And I think anybody that wants to get in, I told Penwell the same thing start a podcast. If you are a boss and you've got something that people want to listen to, mm. Shona Khan. You, you told Penwell to start a podcast before I had a podcast. No, I did not. I found him with a podcast. Oh, but oh. yeah, I know Penwell from before he had a podcast. Mm-mm. Yes. He's also what's in Newcastle, Penwell. Oh, so yeah, my yeah, dad's yeah. from Newcastle. Yes. Yeah, so he's like oh, yeah. from near Locked home, up. near Freyhead. And you know how it is. As KZN niggas, we come here, we find each other somehow. Exactly. <laughs> we have a whole little thing. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. This so it's at the place of the ducks, man. Matatin. It's actually a place where it's most famous for having a mental institution. It's got a madhouse there that's like got a lot of. So the people duck sanity. That's why I say matatin. So wait, matatin, no more. You started, you see. Ah, it's from now on. No, but no, no, no. It's not to good. Matatin, Tanya. It's that there is a mental institution in Medidini. That happens to be there. So most people, when they speak about Matateni, they speak about the mental... Oh, it's like Stagfontein. Stagfontein. It's synonymous to the, yes. to the... Why is it so hot in this podcast? Hey. It's hot, man. <laughs> no, what sorry. the yeah. fuck, bro? Now, we'll see you around, man. No, we'll check out your lovely. podcast. It was lovely. Thank you, my friend. We yeah. enjoyed it. But I think the game still needs you. I think you're good. You guys don't agree. So, eh? He's a good broadcaster, mm. right? I Definitely. think the game needs yeah, nah. me. What it do you does. think? What's your overall view of the game? I think the game is shit. I think the game is like really not what it used to be. And it's not the fault of the people in the game. I don't want anyone to say what I said, everyone but in the wait, game is bad. But wait, doesn't what people say that when they're out of the game? No, no, no. When you're out of the game, you're actually speaking from a position where you know something about it. And when I was in the game, 
the game was very different for me and everybody else in the game. You, so I'm going to say, we work together at YFN. I'm a person who works in the game, but I don't live in it. So generally, yes, I'm, but what I'm I mean oblivious is, to I'm a lot of things I'm talking holistically. I think that the game has become cuck. I think that from like a perspective, like the, the money that gets made or the money that people get paid, the jobs and opportunities that people get, the size of the game. There used to be so many TV shows, for, as an example. Mm. So if you wanted to be a presenter, the likelihood that you'd get a job would be much higher. Now, I speak to people who own production companies. They're like, fuck, dude. There's no money. There's no this. There's no that. What happened to this show? Why are you not on that anymore? Why is this not happening? It's like, I don't know. Boris, it's hot time. <laughs> Why? There's no money. Yeah, but then what the Inflation. fuck? They must be closed the whole game. Because the people that run the game have still got money. Mm -hmm. There is money. It's just the way they're putting it. And shout out to um, Dr. Jerry Mufuke Nwamaketa. Yep. He, he made a very important speech at the SAFTAs and said, literally, commissioning editor and all these people are in oh, charge of those show. people. Stop fucking hiring people because they've got Models Twitter following. And, and can yeah. we just go back to the craft and people That's, take this shit let me, serious? Let me so say that. To the, the craft. Mufuke Nwamaketa. Mm. Yeah, I didn't hear that. That's actually very profound. The yeah. craft is like gone. Yeah. And there's like this whole lot of like like almost like impulse decisions. People are crafty more than ever actually fucking having a craft. Hiring of influencers, <laughs> models. People with just a high following. Why do That's people hate happens. influencers so much? They hate the influencers, great. but they should have the talent to back it up. I feel like if you had Nothing wrong with to be influencer. an influencer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we've influenced people to start podcasts. We've well, there we go. <laughs> no, for real, for real. Like, yeah, nothing wrong with being an influencer. Not just be a wrong. genuine influencer who is about what you're influencing yeah. people on. Be a good influencer. If there's a guy out there, who, yeah, like, yeah. If, be good at what you do and then influence people. Not just influence for the sake yeah. of influence, but you're not influencing anything. I think this is when now you get employed into a spaces where, where it's generally people who have got talent and who understand the crafts would be employed and taking that space. I think that's where the issue is. Mm. Just because you've got a number, numbers and followers. And it's fair enough. At the end of the day, you want to get an audience. You want to get the people watching. And that's the, what you trying to get as a person who's trying to put that um, influencer into that role, you mm. understand. But at the end of the day, it's also about respecting the crafts and getting someone who's talented and not just, oh, this person, we're putting them there just so that they, their audience they can bring can their watch. numbers, yeah. their audience, their yeah. followers. So it's, yeah. it's, it's, and they it's, never do. But it's a, plenty, it's a debate yeah. for another. And listen, day. there's plenty of talented people. I mean, oh, you know, oh, look oh, at this place. You. No, you guys, you are very talented. Thank eh? you. The oh. show banks because of the team behind it. Fuck yeah. Sol, fuck me. G. You guys make the podcast. These two knobs, they just come here and do what These I've been doing for knobs. the past hour. This is fucking easy. <laughs> it's easy. This is the fucking team that makes it happen. Watch it as well. Hear the chillers. You and our yeah. ass. No, this man, was... this man, this man, this man, Now, shout out, man. Thank you very much for having me, bro. Thank you so much. It was great. Let me know when Mac is back. So I can come here and then I can ask him about why the fuck did he say I like anal. What the fuck is wrong with that guy, dog? But when did you sell drugs? closed. Why the fuck would you even say that about someone? When did you sell drugs? When did you sell drugs? <laughs> hey, are we closed? Yay. No, no, yeah, we're closed, we're closed. When did you sell drugs? Says Vali. Oh, <laughs> he knows we're not closed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, since we're not closed, since we're not closed, guys, let me just say I'd like to take this opportunity. Anyone that I've offended in my time on the podcast and chill, I'd like to apologize to absolutely fucking nobody. Yeah. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi? Parama chilla, it lesha, the figgy. Bungo yig, even when they ask you, how sabi in, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.